Reverse. Hello. I put my necklace on backwards. Save the frog. Anyway, hi guys, what's up? <laughs> A van down by the river. I know that reference. Um, I hope you guys are all doing great. Because I'm here to make your day worse. I am also proud to announce the genius of Bones has fixed this. So look, camera's a bit bigger. I fit into it a bit better, which is great. Not cutting off my head anymore. That's pretty poggers. And I did test the game, and it looks like the game works pretty well too. So we're gonna give this a try today. Um, and if you guys fucking hate it, then, um, sorry, Bones. <laughs> um, let me move you guys over here. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta mix, I gotta move that there. Come on, chat box. Okay, where did the hell did it just go? Hmm, alert box, overlay. Oh, it got shoved in a random folder, jeez. Anyway, 
Got it. You know, I can probably actually like adjust the sizing of it to make it kind of fit like a little bit better. But Ashley's gonna be in that corner too, so let me just like kind of scoot it here. Uh actually I think we'll put it in the corner here and we'll maybe move Ashley wherever she is. Yeah, we'll move her like to the right a little bit. There we go. Anyway. Although overlay so much, it's very pretty. It's a very nice overlay. It very much looks like a Baldur's Gate screen, especially like the red bar there too. It's very, it's a very, very good. You can tell no, you can tell Bones knows a thing or two about graphic design, which is pretty cool. One of the reasons why I want to use it so bad is because it looks so cool. <laughs> um. A wah 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 wah. Hi V, how are you, sweetie? Where's lazy? Where's the lazy? Where's our frog? So yeah, again, oh. if you hate how it looks, chat, let me know. If I sound weird, let me know. If Ashley's weird, don't let me know. I already knew that. Um, how are you, Ashley? I, I, um, I'm taking the funny squid plush off of my head now, now that you've said that. <laughs> the funny squid plush? My, my mom, uh, got a, mom poetic, got a new funny little, like, plushy that's of a squid. It looks a bit like, you know the ones you turn inside out and it's like an angry face or like a happy face? It's a bit like that, but it's a bit bigger and it doesn't have the angry face. She's very comfortable. Like this one? Oh, sorry, hold on. I, don't know. I only have one monitor. A little bit, but like as big as your head. Nice. Like imagine that, but as big as your head. Yeah, it sits on top of my basketball. monitor. Yeah, I just got this, like, we just have this on the table now, because, like, this is, like, I'm on, like, the work-from-home table at the moment, mm. and we just have it sitting here. It's well, like, you are oh, about to do some work. I am, I really am. We have to save Lazy. I have to go save our frog. But, um, so, if any technical issue, technical issues may happen this stream for me. If they mm. do, I have backup plans. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, I just did some big brain stuff. Uh, what, so I bought a laptop recently. Why is your brain so recently. huge? I bought yeah. a laptop recently, right? Yeah, your brain is massive. Um, and, you know, I, I bought it because, one, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling this year. Um, two, I'm going to be... Uh, two, the way that I've been doing this previously, so I, I live with other people. And that means that Whoa. sometimes I need to respect the fact that they need to sleep at normal human times. Whoa. Um, which means I can't always do this kind of thing very late. Whoa. Um, however, unfortunately, that cuts into that cuts into my ability to hang out with my best friend, Sammy Zumi Zumi ninety seven. True. Zoomy, that is Zoomy me. 97. That is also me. Right. Yeah. So, you know, that won't do. Um. So the way I've been doing this is whenever I've had like a D and D or like cyber, I say D and D Pathfinder or cyberpunk session for right? real, <laughs> that involves um, that involves you know my America friends. America. Or whenever we've done Baldur's Gate three, I've had to move my entire desktop downstairs, which, as you can imagine, is a huge pain in the ass. Um. So instead of doing that, I decided my New Year's resolution was I'm going to give myself a goddamn break and I bought a laptop. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the thing is, the laptop is good enough to run Baldur's Gate in Act 1. It's not quite good enough to run it in Act 3. I see. Act 3 is a little CPU intensive and I still haven't removed all of the bloatware from this thing yet. I see. So she's not in tip-top shape. She will be. She can do it. She's just a little scrungly about it. 
So I was like, well, instead of playing like a laggy as fuck thing where it's going to take ages to load, um, there must be another solution. And then when I was using the laptop, I, I noticed a pop up when I opened Steam. And, I, and then I said, what the fuck is Steam Remote Play? And then I oh. found out what Steam Remote Play was. So my desktop is still upstairs where she belongs. River is her name. And then my new my new laptop Harley is down here in the zone where no one can hear me at night. Mm -hmm. But River is is running Baldur's Gate three, and I'm streaming it to Harley. That you are controlling remotely. Yes, I I have remoted in to my desktop, which is upstairs from my laptop. That's actually kind of big brain. Yeah, um, so I can run Baldur's Gate 3. I can run fucking anything now on this laptop. Like, if I, for whatever reason, like, I don't know if after this we decide to run, like, another really CPU-intensive All right, let's go together. play Cyberpunk together. <laughs> yeah, like, let's play Cyberpunk 2077 side by side. Like, <laughs> and, um, and then also, but also it means that, like, I, I also just, like, the gaming laptop is really good. Like, it's just good. It's just a good laptop. It's, like, mm -hmm. nice and good. Um, but, yeah. That's awesome. You're so big brain. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I need a spare mouse because I've discovered that if you don't have a mouse plugged into a Windows machine and then you remote, you like remote into that machine, mm -hmm. your mouse cursor doesn't appear. Oh. So it's a good thing we're playing Baldur's Gate because then I, I can play Baldur's Gate on a trackpad. <laughs> and that's Fair. funny. Um, Wait, you don't want to play yeah. Halo on, on a trackpad? On a trackpad? Mm, no. Mm. Oh, crazy! When I, come up, when I yeah, when I'm when I'm up uh, when I'm traveling around, I will be bringing a mouse with me. There you go. Clearly, um, if you got a shiny new gaming machine, it's Alan Wake Two time. Sam's got a point, Ashley. I don't own Alan Wake Two. Well, it's um, time you owned five. <laughs> five versions of Alan Wake Two. <laughs> Woo! Uh, this could probably run it. To be fair, it's like a pretty it's a pretty okay laptop. Nice. It's got like a 4050 in it, but like the laptop version, so it's not as beefy as the desktop. Anyway, I need to also turn on the plug for the charger, so just bear with me. I'll plug you. Oh, please do. It sounds like a very good time. I'm always a good time. So aren't you just? Real. 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 But yeah, that's the Max Poetic setup that means I don't have to haul ass, like, up and down the fucking stick. Like, really, like, taking it down is not so bad. Taking it up the next morning, soul-crushing. Mm. Uh, anyway, let me open chat on my phone. And also try to get this to, to, be, to be real. Karlak. I love how <laughs> she is bigger than me in every way. Look at the size comparison. Not even up to her waist, it's great. <laughs> I do also own a Steam Deck, but um, I can't play TTRPGs on a Steam Deck, so... Ah. Understandable. TTRPG is more like TTRP. Whoa. Yeah, P. <laughs> P. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, we're trying, we're trying this setup for today. We'll see how it uh, how it works out. True. Just like how I am trying this setup today for stream. Yeah, it's a the whole new day of new stuff. Look at us. We're so new and cool. We're so new. This is the start mean, of something uh, new. <laughs> it feels so right to be here with you. Uh... Yeah. Those movies are bangers, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care what anyone says. Real! <laughs> I agree. It does mean, however, that I do get, like, slightly pixelated sometimes in, in this game. <laughs> because I'm str because of the stream, but, uh, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, hey Sammy, do you wanna play Bloodborne Cart when it comes out? What the fuck is that? Bloodborne Cart? Sure. Why not? <laughs> it's made by the it's made by the girl who made um sex, right? Bl yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, the video in which the bunny girl says sex a lot and also the Bloodborne PlayStation 1 remake. 
Right. Yeah. yeah. Why are trans women obsessed with making pixel art? I don't know, but Bloodborne PSX fucking slaps. So. Mm. Oh god, this is a this is a challenge. Crash Team Racing, but Bloodborne. Yeah, you see, yeah. but I, <laughs> I'm not like other girls. I hate that kind of stuff. I'm still mm -hmm. down to play Bloodborne Car because that sounds really silly, but like yeah. old PS1 mm -hmm. graphic stuff makes me like curl my toes in, in a bad way, I might add. That's... Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't. Really? It, it has zero appeal to me. Oh. Okay, we don't have to play. No, I mean, I want to play the cart. No, I want to play the cart thing, Ashley. That sounds like fun. I do. I just, it, yeah. I, I just don't get like I. Are I just don't the get. Is it. the same art style. I have to keep going. Is it really? Uh, admittedly, a lot cleaner, but yeah, it's the same kind of. Um, I knew it was pixely, like, like, but like I don't it's mind. It's yeah, it's it's um well it, it's, it's more like if you did PS One graphics like from memory, without having seen PS One graphics for a while. Like, in the sense me... that it looks a lot better than PS1 graphics, but it has the same vibe. It's like, let me put it like this. I like Celeste, right? Yeah. I like, like, the pixel art for Celeste. It's very clean. It works very well, right? I like that. But, like, a lot of people really like um, sort of that, like, old PS1, like, chunky, blocky style. And I do not. Yeah, Signalis it... has... Um... That kind of voxel y sort of style. It's, yeah. Well, I don't like it. <laughs> That's okay. <You're> okay. <laughs> I, 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 I stand by what I said. I don't like that art style. It's okay. You don't have to. I was just like asking because you'd expressed interest in playing it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, I'll still, I'll still give it a whirl. I don't think the art style is going to bother me so much I won't play it. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't hate, like, I don't, like, hate it with such a powerful grudge I could never touch it with a ten-foot pole. Mm -hmm. I just don't like it. Like, I just, okay. I'm just not a fan. That's okay. And I know some people really, really like that sort of thing. I, I just, it holds nothing for me. Probably because I wasn't around for that kind of era. Of graphics yeah. and stuff. There's no nostalgia whatsoever. I was very, uh, I was very behind on tech, so I had a PS1 for the longest time when I was younger. Yep. I've never had a PS1. Never had a PS1. The only time I played a PS1 game, I believe, was Final Fantasy IX, because I think that was was that PS1 or was that PS2? I think that was PS1. That's the only time I've ever played a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. But no. So, yeah. Tail end of the PS1, yeah. So I'm happy to play Bloodborne Cart with you. That sounds very silly. I'm so glad Shadow Hearts oh, ordeal is over. Also, I didn't mean to click on you, Carlex. Sorry. It'll be a long time yeah. before she'll come to terms Bloodborne with Bloodborne PSX, this. very good D make. Now. She can start. I guess it's really kind of discrediting it to call it a demake. It is it is a remake, it's just not a remake that upscales it. Mm -hmm. It's also not only up to Gascoigne, it has a whole nother section to it that's completely original. Which is really the most impressive part of all of it. But yeah, shout out to shout out to Bunlith. What a lady. What a lady. Women are my favorite guy. Women are my favorite guy. Shout out to Bunlith, the woman whose outfits look like they take the most effort in the whole world. God, realest thing you have ever said. She has so many belts, and how does she do it? We don't know. Mm. Anyway, I'm here. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this a titch. I think the format for the game was just slightly off kilter. Mm -hmm. I think it's better now. 
Yeah, chat, if it looks weird, let me know. But we're gonna, we're gonna try rocking this for now. Almost as many as he from Yu Yu Hakusho. Real. <laughs> All right, trackpad, don't let me down. All right, want a long rest? Yes, we, that's what we were gonna do, yeah. Yep. Something tells me there might be a scene with Shadowheart in our future. Oh, Will <laughs> wants to talk. Oh, damn. Will? Oh, that's Will, right. Will, got that, Will. Got that pretty dress of Carla. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, what's Carlac -like wearing again? I totally forgot. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go talk to Will. <laughs> Will, Will, Will. What do we have here? Your mind tingles as it opens to Will. He learns of Mazora's meddling. Oh! Florix oh yeah, the, the dragon, dragon thing. Asura. Curse that rotten devil and her forked tongue. I'm trying to set Florix against me. She's a damnable inferno of chaos. She's in the other room, Will. You can go bitch at her. Floric source says, <laughs> and we know our path forward. We'll finish what my father couldn't. We'll awaken Ansur, the heart of the gate. Oh yeah, there's a fucking Obama, dragon. Yep. Founder due veneration. His guardian dragon, Ansur, tremendous in worth. A savior below our eternal elation. It's not just a tale, it's a history. Consider Will, I love you. To Wormway neath prison's deepest level. That must mean Worm's rock prison. That's where we'll find the entrance to this Wormway. Then this. With the shock of a true hero's spark flickers, the torches are light. And Worm's eyes shall awake a glitter. To open the way, we'll need to spark torches. This dragon, Ansor, was Baldurin's ally. We'd be fools to let him sleep while the Dead Three's Chosen raised the city. Hmm. Yeah. Also, speak of the devil, too. I want to ask Mazora some questions. Something on your mind? You know exactly oh. what's <laughs> Oh, so you can snitch at her. This is great. Him. Should I say? So you talk to Floric, the city's most loyal servant. For tell me, darling, how is she? Oh my God. What a relief! It would be a shame if she'd struck down the one and only blade. Alas, she misses the fallen duke. Someone will need to step up in his absence. A man with the spirit of a dragon. His only son, perhaps. God. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay. Oh, you always were an inquisitor. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found a new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Okay. Savor it, sister. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Hmm. So that's why they stopped going after Carla, because Zariel just 
let her be here for now. Because mm. Zariel probably knows Karlik's going to have to come back at some point. Yeah. yeah. And figures, for now, she's more useful here trying to stop the Dead Three than she is in, in Avernus. Yeah, that sounds like Zariel. Yeah. Uh, the nine hells of Beator, each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus, my mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Nah, I don't need a tour of hell, I think I'm good. <laughs> She's still trying it on, after everything. I know, and even after the like the, the, the line about like, oh, and they, but then some noble hero saved me. They say gallantry is dead. And then like smirks at me, I'm like, girl, dude. Like, <laughs> why, why do you want me to cheat on Carlac so badly? <laughs> Gosh, I wonder. Where's yeah. Chumby? Oh, Chumby's over here. Lily walking up to the owlbear cub. I need a quick word. <laughs> Chumber. <laughs> Good old Chumby. He's so cute. He is so cute. He's the best, best thing. Things. I know, his little chubby face. I'm gonna quickly talk to Shadowheart just to see if she does have anything new to say. Yeah, good idea. She's still fucking with that orb. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? No, nope, she's just covered in blood and says that I'm very nice. <laughs> All you could well, want from your girlfriend, option. really. I do have a dialogue option, though. Oh, yeah. We've got... What about the memories that were taken from you? Most are lost forever. Some may creep back into my mind if I encounter anything that helps clear the fog. Hmm. Then there's what Shah did restore to me. Memories of pain, suffering, both my own and what I inflicted. It's overwhelming. Like a lifetime's worth of nightmares unleashed all at once upon waking. I can barely untangle one moment from another, not that I even want to. I just know that my heart sinks if I let my thoughts wander to them. Oh. Shara's like, you're gonna leave? Fine, have all of your bad memories back. I'll keep the good ones. <laughs> Christ. They always do. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, I'll just have to find a way to live with them. I mean... Yeah. Shah seeks to break people. To fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time. But it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom. I will not give it up again, no matter how much it hurts. Hmm. Can you still remember all we've been through? Of course. Aww. Checks. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. I wouldn't surrender even a moment of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very gay. <laughs> She's nice to me. Yes, Ashley. <laughs> Pretty lady, nice to me. Of course. Did we find anything else? How are you? At peace, I think. I couldn't have imagined how things were going to play out. What I'd gain. Who I'd lose. But at least I have your support. Aww. Aww. Of course. 
Because you're the good guys, the devils have a thing for corrupting the heroes. Corruption of heroes? What did you say? Oh, <clears throat> no, you, um... Me who only heard the word corruption. So horny, I'm gonna black out. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, oh man. No, devil yeah. lady. <laughs> no, demon lady, don't corrupt me. Oh no. Darling? Oh no. <clears throat> yeah, what do you have to say about what Shadow Heart did for her parents was a profound act of love. What? Her oh. courage is. Well, it's quite something to behold. Well, Gail, wish, uh, wish somebody else had the courage to leave an abusive relationship with a god. <laughs> for real. I need a quick what word. What did Carlac say about it? Shadow Heart's parents are at peace. And so she, it seems. Uh, she said something along the lines of, like, I'm really glad Carla, or really glad Shadowheart was able to sort that out and find her parents. Uh, it seems like she's like lifted like a like a, a burden off of her shoulders. Aww. Something along those lines. That is sweet. Because I accidentally triggered it earlier. Yeah, might, might ask Ever will Shar try to twist bonds of love into someone. chains of service? What? Shadowheart did not let her. What, what are you saying, Ashley? I presume to know her parents. I was gonna say I might ask suffer. him, I might see if Dame Ale and Isabel have anything to say proud. about it as well. In the end. Oh, they might. Seeing as they were the ones that sort of set her on this path. Yeah, they might. That's true. I really love this song. It's a very nice song. It's about a Yeah. Uh, uh, trackpad. Uh. Hello, Aelin. You're big. <laughs> Mother's milk. Your visage speaks of ill tidings. <laughs> uh, what? Actually, I just, I just <laughs> forgot to put on makeup today, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. Oh, I can tell her about Laroican. Oh. Oh, because yeah, we met Aradin, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Outside Laroican's thing. Job Mother's milk. <laughs> what does that mean, Aelin? <laughs> Mother's milk. Mother's fat, milky titties. Saluna has giant breasts. <laughs> like my mother has massive, massive bosom. It's where I get it from. Genetics, you know. Do you want me to tell her about Laroakan? Yeah, sure. This is also a very fun little cutoff. This, yeah, this is a funny little. It's like I'm peeking over like the, the couch. <laughs> Literally. Is he indeed? Pray tell, what does he seek from Dame Aelin? The fact she refers to herself in the third person would be an ick on anyone except her. <laughs> I know, she's great! <laughs> the fact she does it, it's totally okay. There's uh... <laughs> a violent mercenary looking for you. <laughs> yeah, there's some dickhead I met like 70 hours of gameplay ago. Let them come and let them find me. Dame Aelin will strike down any who seek to bring her to harm's hole. Yet, it is better to cut off the head of the snake than to let its slithering snakeling swarm us unabated. This wizard, this wizard, must be held to account. I will wring his neck until he's dead. Ah, uh, Aelin, maybe don't rush into this. It's a little... That's a little, you know, um, too much. Um, oh. <laughs> no, I don't know if we need to go all the way there, you know, I'm just gonna... It is he who must not pursue me. Okay, Let fair. us travel right. to his chambers, his lair. We will see him undone in the style of the dead, unburied Ketherick Thorm. Okay. I'm coming with you. I'd like to get a few licks in myself. Well, that's fair. My darling, we agreed you'd scout for the nearest Salunite enclave this very night. Let us divide our efforts, all the sooner to be reunited. I won't let you go alone. Who knows what this wizard might have planned? Our closest ally will accompany me, won't you? It will be a swift and fruitful chore. 
Lily's dopey Hi, little to smile. This right away. Right away? I am as right eager away. to meet him as he is to ensnare me. Like, right now? Okay. Um, yep. She's gone. <laughs> okay. Bye, Aelin. Love how she flies around like a fucking MOBA character. Oh, there she goes. Yep. Hey, Izzy. Uh, what do you think of that? Well, I guess we gotta go do this now. Aelin left to face that wizard. Uh, Laroican, was it? Even after all she's been through, she thinks herself unstoppable. Invincible. Uh -oh. Izzy's worried it feels about like her. recklessness to me. <laughs> Izzy's very worried. Maybe we should shouldn't have told her this. Maybe, maybe this was. I a wanted mistake. to go get Lazel. <laughs> uh. Do you think there would be any other outcome when you tell an avenging angel that a creep wants to kidnap her? I hope you're right. Uh, I mean, he sounds like fair. a vile, vile man. I'd have liked to get a few licks in myself, honestly. I wanted to help her, but she said she fights better when she knows I'm safe. I understand. I suppose. I feel the same about her. You guys are very cute. I will help her, I guess. <laughs> I'll rest a little easier if you do. You fought well against my father. Oh, Gail approves. I imagine a rat like Laroican will be nothing in comparison. So... <laughs> Uh, well, I guess we're not safe in Lazelle. I mean, we might. I can't imagine this will take too long. I can, because this is the magic shop where Gail yeah. needs to go to. This is the magic shop where Gail yeah. needs to go to. Oh, no. There's going to be, like, four quests here. Do you want to reload at all? When was our last save? It was. It would have been... <laughs> well... It would have been just before we long rest. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to just, you know, either do or not do the, the conversations that we've already seen. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I kind of, I kind of do want to go save Lazelle. Like, I don't. Yeah. Because well, I fine. then we can then we can just reload and long rest mm -hmm. and go say to go do Lazel stuff instead. Because mm -hmm. it, it kind of feels like uh, we're gonna get ping pong balled if we don't just force ourselves to stay on one quest at mm -hmm. a time. Yeah, because no, there's definitely. so many other things to do. Like like the journey to get to the house of grief was a journey. <laughs> so. I want to try to save our girl, and I think we just have to go fucking confront Orin. I'm hoping she can't kill, um, she can't, like, kill, uh, Lazel, right? Mm -hmm. At least that's my hope. Yeah. I'm hoping as well. Cause she made that threat, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, Withers can bring, like, our companions back from the dead, so, like, doesn't this count? Yeah. No. Uh, if it's mind. all the same, I will... We'll do the will thing, and then I will talk to Shadowheart again, but I'll just skip the dialogue. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, I just want venerate. the conversation it's... to have happened. Then this dragon, Onsil, yeah. was Baldurin's ally. Yep, boop, done. Boop. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Mazora dialogue. Something She's the, on the your fucking you why hello exactly lover what thing again. So tell me, darling, mm. how is she? Hello, lover. Why hello, lover? That what sounded more debonair in my head. She missed his only son. She's so cringe. Uh -huh. I love my cringe fail wife. She's very cringe. Come for a chat. The nine I call at peace, she the other eight. Well, they are pl the absolute no one crosses the hell's children without correct. If you must know, I was scouting the cult. I woke in that damned pod, but a brave 
kind, benevolent soul set me free. Brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. When they say gallantry is dead. She's such a snake. She is, I love her. I'm so glad Shadow Heart's ordeal is over. Oh yeah, this is Carlac's thing. It'll be a yeah, long time yeah, yeah. before she'll come to terms with all this. But at least now, she can start. Free of Shah. Oh, she's so kind. She is. What Shadow Heart did for her parents was a... Shadow Heart's parents are at peace. Now is gone, and so it seems. Never got Will and Halston. I forget Halston exists. This is the same. Mm -hmm. Which is a shame because he is, a of course, the protector of the lesbians. Drew, get Would behind me, lesbians. <laughs> lesbians, get behind she has my me. Respect. Halston, and no. I hope she soon finds peace. It seems so your nice. top surgery was a success. That's <laughs> wonderful, but where's Halston? Who do you think we gave the boobs to? <laughs> The house and no! Heavy no. load for her to carry. But her suffering is over, and so is her parents. I hope she finds mm. comfort in that. Ever will Shar Will's try to voice. twist bonds Ooh. of love into two? I know, I love Will. He is. Shadowheart he is did not a let her. Man. I cannot he presume is. to know her parents or what they suffered. But I know that they were proud in the end. Also, did you hear her saying that hits different knowing that she's a mother? Mm. Yeah, no, for sure. Right? Like, weh. Let's see. Yeah. Well, she really did just kind of do the like, I know I'm much your mom, but if I was, I would be really proud. <laughs> Time to go to bed by touching the fire. Bed moment. All What's right. What's on the girl dinner today? Girl dinner is going to be served with. Uh, 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 sausage. Um, number. I don't want to eat all of our raspberry uh, apple. No, one apple. All right. It is a fish, three whole chickens, one pear, one apple, mm -hmm. some okay. mint, one sun melon piece. Onion for the chicken. A mm. tomato, another apple, green grapes. That's almost a balanced meal. <laughs> Actually, kind of. I like the three whole chickens, though. There. That's good. Yeah, the three whole... We're all getting our protein in. For real, for real. We're, like, protein maxing so that we can have... Uh, mm -mm. So, you know, we can uh, improve our bodies with this fight. Ah, jump scare. Whoa. Private dialogue. Turn off private dialogue. Turn off private I dialogue. I want to see. Oh. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in a while. Perhaps people lost faith. Mm. Forgot about it. I wanted to come here to see if I felt anything that I hadn't done before. Now that I know what I mean. Now that I know who and I am. Do you feel anything? Loss. Actual loss, oh. not Shah's oblivion. I had my family. For too short a moment. Now they're gone. By my hand. Oh, Shadowheart. Oh, Tyler. <sighs> you did what was necessary. You freed them and yourself. But why does freedom have to feel like I've lost everything? Perhaps I could have saved them. Or perhaps Shah would have helped me forget them. Instead, I've neither. 
Oh. Lily, hug her right now. Lily, hug her right now. Lily, hug her right now. <laughs> I That's order it. you. <laughs> That's it. Let it all out. This has been a long time coming. Her it's mascara is running. Since I've shed a tear. Yeah. I don't even know how long. What's next? We carry on. It's all we can do. I'll follow in a while. I think I want to stay here a little longer, firstly. This place isn't familiar, but... It's peaceful. So what is it now? Shadowheart or Genoville? We've already asked this, technically. But... Shadowheart. She's as much a part of who I am as Genevelle. I can't just forget her. It's not what I do anymore. Besides, Shadowheart still suits me. Even better than before, perhaps. I can't cast a shadow without some light. Oh. Hey, yo, wait. No. More? No. Uh... Okay. All right, we're fine. That was a scary angle. That was just the zoom in on my face. Just. Uh... Uh, I didn't realize it was uh, not a me thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, are we going to get more Shadowheart moment? But no, it was actually just a dream visitor tease, you know? God, I... Ugh. Poor Shart. That moment where she encounters, like, actual grief for the first time that her god can't just take away from her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big sadness. I feel bad for her. Yeah. But hey, she gets to process real grief now, which means she's a more whole of a person. It does. And that's not a bad thing. No. We like Shadow Heart being a whole of a person. Yeah. Trust See, I was very mature there. I didn't even make a joke about Shadow Heart's whole. <laughs> Shadowheart's hole, I'm so horny, I black out. <laughs> Do you want a long strider us real quick? Uh, I'd love to. I also want to go sell some shit to Damien. Yeah, Carl Carl is encumbered. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Come. I like carrying too much stuff. She carrying too much cum. <laughs> carrying too much cum. Well, I guess I can help her unload if you know what I like balls are <laughs> bursting. <laughs> I don't know someone who drew something like that. Then. Stop. <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> We can go up here. So I'm like, soldier, go soldier, over. my balls. Stop! Soldier, my balls are bursting. <laughs> Literally, stop! The devil's feet. That's where probably the Diabolist is. Probably, yeah. That, that sounds like that's right. Yo, these kids play Chase the Gelatinous Cube in the alley? That was like my favorite game as a kid. Same! That's crazy. What crazy little kids. Ugh, little scamps. Chasing Gelatinous Cubes. What can I do for you? Of course. Wouldn't be alive to Hi, Damon. Hello, Mr. D Domain. Domain. Mr. Domain Expansion. Domain Expansion! 
I've never you just end up in a forge. Seen, never read or seen Jujutsu Kaisen. And I only know two things. I know domain expansion. Just the two words. <laughs> I don't know what they mean. And I know, nah, I'd win. Nah, I'd win. I also know, where you go, I go. <laughs> and it involves somebody walking in snow and then somebody running from them in the snow. That's all I know. Also, yes, Sal, our Baldur's Gate is full to bursting. <laughs> How are you, bud? I think Nah, I'd win is like my favorite kind of a uh, dim recently. Uh, my favorite has to be, uh, Shaka! <laughs> you can't you escape can't me! You can't escape me! I'll, I'll chase you to the ends of the air! I s what? <laughs> Did you just do a trend? I'm sorry? I mean, I, I, heard a, I heard a dice roll, and then my screen shook a few times. I heard screaming? Yeah, there was screaming. I heard the dice roll sound happen. The screen shook a few times as if something was exploding. Was it like another earthquake? What can I do for you? I don't think so. Of course. Stuff? Wouldn't be alive to hold him. I, ca I cannot see what it was. Huh. All I can see is people, like, panicked, but then, like... Okay, some shit's going on. Oh, there's a mind flare. Where? Oh, you know, just over here. I don't know how to ping on this. There we go. <laughs> it's better not be yeah, Olam. A... It's not a Melum. I think it's the one we... I think it's the one we hung out with. Oh, is it? Yeah. Can we not? They seem to be doing pretty good, uh, you know, fighting it, so... Oh, somebody got murdered. Yeah, we can't, like, mm. interact in this fight. We can't even, yeah, we can't do anything. That's weird. They seem to have done a pretty good job so far, though, I mean, like... Oh, yo, the steel watch. Oh. Yeah, just continue your conversation. What's inside? Fresh corpse. Oh, I think this is absolutely the guy. It's the windmill key. Yep. True soul, Aelin, your time has come. The absolute cause of the faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your army, leave all and and rank behind. You are part of the Fleming Fist no longer. You've been loyal, true soul, but soon you shall be so much more. You'll become one of us. Ah. So. Hmm. Is this the guy that the Mind Flayer ate? Seems that way, yeah. At least some corpse eating has happened. Oh. It's done. <gasps> no, wait, there it is! Hmm? The Weeping Dawn. In the soundtrack. Yes! Yes, you're right! It was just a little bit of the smile and pain will fade away. Yeah, the dun 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 dun. That makes there sense. There it is. That's it. I fucking knew I was not. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I'm never wrong about anything. Alfira's performing to the whole of Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Oh. She did it. She fucking did. Oh. Man. That makes me so happy, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that I was correct about this. It's very sweet. Yeah. You the fact that the gets before. to have her little spot awful, in the soundtrack. Just awful. I'll just do there once that... It's just, it's really touching, because, like, 
I mean, she accomplished her goal. Yeah. She did. As she sits upon the roof right now, even. Uh, that yeah, I can't she's see on her the roof from. right this second. Yeah. Performing to all of Baldur's Gate. Oh. Alfira. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. Uh, the books and notes are really hard to read. That's fair. Mm. What can I do for you? There wasn't a whole lot of important knowledge in that one that I just looked at. Of course. Wouldn't be alive to and there sure them. are a lot of books. <laughs> yeah, if that bothers you guys, let me know. A book-shaped pouch? <laughs> Part of every single book mm. I found in there? Nice! That's fun. I do for you? Of course. Be How allowed goes to hold the them. selling? For you. Knives. Knives. Oh shit. I should probably just sell the staff of the ram too. Staff of the ram. <clears throat> No point keeping it. Stuff a Durant. Stuff a Durant. Soldier. All right, sorry, Carlac. Just selling an absurd amount of things. Don't mind me. Oh, I forgot to sell those things. Whoops. What can I do for you? Of course. Wouldn't be alive to hold them if it weren't for you. Feel the rain on your skin. Ba -na 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 -ba -na -ba. Oh my god! I just need to clean out my inventory, but I don't know what to. I don't know how. Honestly, I have no idea. I am carrying like ninety-five pounds of stuff, and Same. I don't know how. Like, I think, I think for it, is, it is for me. It's just all of the po like the little tiny poisons and arrows that I've picked up throughout the entire playthrough. Plus the rune powder, obviously. Mm. I think for me, it's probably like my spell scrolls. Which is like all the more reason to like get rid of them. <laughs> or to spend them, I mean. Mm, yeah. Use them. Use them or lose them, you know? So I have like a lot of letters and shit on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Even all those potions for endgame. For real, for real. Never a dull moment. Even when I'm not saving for the end game, there's just so many. I'm not use I'm not using enough of I'm not doing enough damage. Use some poison. But you can run out of those. It's the final battle, but I only have 85 of them. <laughs> Most real thing you've ever said. <laughs> Speaking of that, that I skit, I fucking noticed that um, Frozy B is the English voice like for um, Senshi and Dungeon Mashing. Yeah, I'm Which thrilled. Really yeah, because I'm watching both the sub and the dub at the moment. Mm. Oh, you're you're thirsty for Dungeon Mashing content. 
Well, it's more, um, it's more the person I'm watching it with, uh, struggles with the subtitles. Ah. Who would that and be? Prefers, prefers dubs. Oh, I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, um, I forget, actually. Ah, uh, fair. Understandable. Any <laughs> nobody worth naming? Uh, probably. Visiting. <laughs> Getting um, sushi with, you know? <laughs> she's probably dyslexic or something. Um, now, uh, yeah, for something like that. Whoever it is, I'll say it. Dubs are better than subs. Whip. Nay, nade. Oh, she's really good dubbing, in my opinion. I, I'm gonna be honest, I think all you bitches who are so insistent on subs over dubs are about 10 years behind me in time. <laughs> like, I understand in 2012, there were a lot of really bad dubs. <laughs> I understand. However, it is 2024, if you haven't noticed. Um, and that's completely changed. <laughs> and ironically, yes, Sammy. For real! Like, I don't mind watching subs at all. I think there's plenty of subs that are perfectly fine. But sometimes... It... It's kind of tiring on my eyes to be reading that much when I'm watching that much. <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to just hear it in a language that I don't have to pay as sh close, as sharp attention to. Yeah. And that's okay. For you me, know? the sub versus dub thing is very much like the holy shit, two cakes meme. Yeah. Like, I'm like, I can watch this twice and get a slightly different experience. For real, for real. There's like so many bitches that are all like, dubs are terrible. And like, you are a decade behind, sir. Sometimes I, ha sometimes I do have to hear a voice actor that, like, you know, is a piece of shit or something. <laughs> but, but it's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that is what it is. The, um, for me, it's like, I really struggle to intake information in shows <laughs> without subs for some reason. Mm. Um, so really the ideal for me with anime is to have a dub and have a subtitle track that matches the dub mm. which Dungeon Meshi has it has two different subtitle tracks one for the sub and one for the dub hell yeah uh, because it's a Netflix thing that's what we kids like to call poggers but no I typically watch sub first because I'm used to just, like, the dub coming out after. Mm -hmm. And so, like, if I, I figure, like, oh, if I want to be update, up to date on this thing, I should watch it subbed, right? But, uh, which mm -hmm. is only sometimes true now. And I mean, like, I really enjoyed, like, watching, like, Witch from Mercury dubbed, but also because I think that just the voice actors gave a really, what like, unique think? energy of course. to that one. Won't be alive to hold it like, I, I think it would be, uh... Yeah, I also sometimes, I just like languages, so sometimes I like hearing how jokes sound in another mm. language, and then how the subtitlers, like, translate them, and then you get both of those at the same time, and it's just kind of fun. For sure. You know, you learn you learn little things, but um, I will never trash a dub, <laughs> unless the dub is bad. But it's also a thing of, like, if the dub is bad, the Japanese dub is probably also kind of bad. Cough, cough. We just don't notice because it's not our native language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and like, yeah, if you want to watch like subs and stuff, that's perfectly fine. For Japanese yeah, comp reading comprehension, that's great. Like, that's that's fantastic. Um, yeah. I'm just a bitter Betty about people being all like, it's yeah. like being totally fair. It's really it? annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Did so people see, like, are like, well, the dub bit. is actually kind of okay. It's like, so is pretty much every dub yeah. for most anime in the past five years, guys. Shout out to the free run dub for like single-handedly changing some people's opinions about anime dubs. For real. Oh, that shit is good. Yes. But yeah, for me, it's like, it's like, I like what, cause like, there are always like little differences and nuances to like the way that they use each respective language and i always just i just like watching both i don't know yeah nothing There'll wrong always be a thing where it's like i'll watch the sub first because also because that's kind of how the original like that's as close to the original as i can really get mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um 
<laughs> but, um... Yeah, but then, like, dubs are always fun. Dubs are a fun, neat way to, like, rewatch a show without... Like, without it being exactly the same. You get hmm. to hear the actor's different spin on the character, different takes on the dialogue, like... Yeah. And also, I'm very resistant to the... Like, I'm... It's to the point where I'm, like, I'm resistant to even say that I watch subs first because it's a weird, like, culture war thing now. It is! As well. Have you noticed? Yes! That, like any lo like not even just like dubs but like sub subtitling also absolutely like, any, yeah any localization effort is now like part of this weird is like it's, oh it has, well like, they said like, the I gender of the character yeah, 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 that yeah, it's, 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 it's a culture i will never forgive shitty internet people when it came to skip and loafer i will tear them apart with my teeth I don't know what that is, but I but I am backing you up. And Skip and, Lo Skip and Loafer, by the way, one of the best, funniest, like, slice of life, like, high school rom-com since Toradora. I am dead serious. Also has an openly trans character in it. And it is handled well. God, who's the king? <laughs> Hold on. There's someone who, like... Thanks, Matt. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Um, yeah. There's someone who... She's not only treated very well as a trans character, uh, but everyone acknowledges her identity and everyone's very good about it, and there is no issues at all. At least, uh, assuming so, I'm, 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 quite a, I'm quite a bit into it and I haven't encountered any. There's also, like, a very gay character, too. And again, they're completely fine with it. There's nothing. There's nothing weird about it, and there are these two bitches that I'm ninety percent sure have a thing for each other because they're in every single scene paired up with each other. Um, I'm kind of waiting for that to pop, but mm -hmm. you know. But like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like, yeah, it's a thing of like also, um, yeah, it's like I remember because uh, there's a like it's a lot of it is like if you put like modern slang into an anime. Or like like things that people say normally. Oh yeah, because fucking they English. people flip English. ship English. that Nagatoro call uh, in in Nagatoro yes. called somebody no, sus. Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she said even like, though sus, she is she says shit like that. She is a zoomer. She is like a bratty yeah. zoomer. That is her whole yeah. thing. She would absolutely talk like that. Oh my god, V! I fucking hate that comment. Have you seen? The kill the kill one. No. The kill the kill or it's like there's some sort of translation error here. Oh, there is a translation error here. Yeah, right. God, I like, hate um, that. Oh god, it's like Mako like professing her love for <laughs> for Ryuka. Yep. And they're like, oh, what do yeah, you mean? It's, the reason I found out about all that, the re like my introduction to this like localization as culture war shit mm -hmm. was was because of Nagatoro, because the voice actress for Catalyst from Apex Legends. Mm -hmm. is also the ADR script writer for Nagatoro. Oh, okay. Or one of, like, one of. I think she does, a, like, a fair bit of, of work like that. Which is, which fucking rules, by the way. Um, oh, hell yeah. And Gurley was just in the fucking trenches on Twitter with people just being so shitty about it. Hmm. Oh, I, I fucking believe it. Because, like... Yeah. It's so fucking weird. Yeah. And like the thing yeah, I was referring to, to rules. for real. Um, yeah. And the thing the thing I was specifically referring to with Skip and Loafer was just like yeah translations and translators and stuff being yeah. like really weird about the trans character. Where I'm sorry guys, it, said, it very explicitly says they're trans in yeah. in the Japanese. Like like it, it it's so clear about it. That's yeah. the whole point. If I ever have to hear anybody try to like. D Rainbow Japan, because <laughs> that's always what it is, right? They see oh, Japan yeah. as like this, as this place where like nothing that they don't like exists. It's like this perfect like utopia for them. You know, it's mm. weeb shit, right? Oh yeah, it's weeb shit. Where like because for because for fucking chuds on the internet, gay people existing is like politics to them. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the same reason why people get fucking mad, at, like why that one guy cried about pronouns in fucking Starfield. Mm -hmm. By being like, I play video games to escape reality, and now there's pronouns. Like, it's the same shit. Mm -hmm. They just they just view Japan as this place that they can use for escapism, and they're so mad that like gay people exist. Yup. Did you just firebolt that? 
Yeah. That's kind of cool. I'm so cool. Thank you. I'm so smart and cool. No, they want Japan to be this fucking haven for them. And uh, the truth is, uh, Japan has its clearly has its own complex uh, politics yeah. that exist. And that's also one of the reasons I get on people's cases so much whenever something happens in a JRPG. Um, this is for you. And people are like, oh, well, you know, Japan oh, being Japan. Japan. And I grab you by the throat and I strangle you to death. Um, I, I, I show them a picture of like the lead singer of Queen Bee and I'm like, apologize to her right now. <laughs> for real. People really just don't think that queer people exist in Japan. It's fucking bizarre. Also, imagine a country changing its socio-political beliefs over time. Yeah, or just like, you know, just changing, progressing. Yeah, people acting like the ability to progress is like a solely fucking American thing. Which, like, I, I got it. I shouldn't say American, it's not just Americans, it's the whole Anglo sphere and probably most European countries also. Oh boy, can I make this? It is too high for me. Keepside barrack cells. It is too high, y'all. Mm -hmm. I can't get there. But yeah, it's, it's the Anglo sphere wanting to appear enlightened or some shit when, like, I'm gonna be honest, in some it's ways, racism. just. It is. Oh, yeah, it's totally just racism. Yeah. Uh, and so, and in fact, probably many ways, Japan might oh, be ahead of quite a few people in the Anglosphere. Yeah. You know. Imagine that. Right? Can you help me? I can't get up here. Oh. Oh, I don't. I don't think we want to go this way. <laughs> oh. Why? Well, I just, uh, that's a prison. And we just called through a latrine. So now I'm going to jump back down. Okay. It's a different prison, though. I don't know what kind of prison that is, but I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Shadow Heart, why is this confusing? She literally says, what am I to do? Girl, jump down. Oh, absolutely. This is difficult to do with a trackpad. Sorry, I'm a little slow. You're okay. I'm a little slow today. <clears throat> There's also a delay with like how many signals I think it can send at once. Oh, hey. Okay, so there's some there's ballists. The oh, are they shooting at this refugee? I think, I think they're trying to. Um, it, they seem to have Stormtrooper aim, though, so I think we, we, it's okay. We've got time. Okay, because there's also this route. There's a route up here, too. I kind of want to see what's up here. Route. Route the enemy. Yeah, it's a thing where it's like, it's like in terms of like legislation, it's still, you know, marriage equality still isn't a thing in Japan. I'm gonna need a jump spell if I'm gonna be able to make, if I'm gonna be able to follow you. It's weird that I can do it, but you can't. You have a bit of gear that increases your jump distance. Oh, I do, don't I? Yeah. I always forget about that. <laughs> yeah. What's this ladder that this leads to? Okay, that just leads back up to the surface, I think. But I'll, I'll come back and give you a jump. I keep forgetting I have that. <laughs> yeah. Ashley's like, I don't keep forgetting. <laughs> I don't forget because I felt so gaslit by the game mm -hmm. when we first this encountered this problem. Mm -hmm. This is awful. I have to turn the camera with the keys. It's really slow. No entry, no exit. What does that mean? <laughs> this door is useless. Do not use it. Oh yeah, well you can't keep me out. <clears throat> 
That's a VC-20. It's a good thing that I'm built different. True. <laughs> That's great, though, V. Simp. Yeah. The Nagatoro, Na, Nagatoro dubbing and, like, subtitling is really great. Also, the anime is pretty solid. I need to watch it. I haven't actually seen it yet. Open the door. Wait. Hey Wait, guys. is this is there a tavern down here? Magpie Davies Guild Hall. Oh I my see. god. Is this this? Um, I think we should make a stop in here. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna stop us? Nope. I think we're in. A, I think we're in the guild hall. Yeah, that seems to be it. Um, cause also, Mr. Severn over here is the guild hall bartender. Oh my god! All on the same side, you little shit! Nine fingers invited <laughs> us herself. The guild master. Wow! Look who it is! Glad to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Hey, Mole, Why do you have an eye? Ready to and do with some both business? Eyes. Now, the her eyes were not black and red before, were they? I think the one was, but she was missing an eye. Yeah, she was missing one. I don't remember it. I don't remember the other being black and red. Yeah, I'm gonna say. How did you escape Moonrise? The hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Mole, I don't believe you. Oh, I've got a few ideas. Oh no, her eyes are that color. In no time. Yeah, no, her eyes are that color. She's just got a new eye from somewhere. I gotta believe it's Raphael. I, I wonder who, yeah, literally. I wonder who. Mm -hmm. Find mole complete. Only alive but thriving, claiming the ranks of the guild hall. Wow. Is that is it really that that simple? <laughs> Ready to do some business? I feel like it can't be, right? Mm-hmm. Sure is. Fucking Rafa we work for Fetcher. Raphael's gonna turn up and he's gonna be like, you might call pre owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Shady Slayer Cloak while hiding the number you need to roll critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Is that, hang on, is that? It's a cloak. Is that a cloak? Okay. Mm -hmm. What does my current one do? My current one this does the disengage thing. Um, I, there... will, I will take that if it is going. There is a jet, uh, a jet and pink rose dye. Oh. A boreal blue and a cobalt die. Mm. Oh, this is only six hundred. Yeah, with all the all the gear we sold from Carlac, we more than enough. Mm. Have more than enough. I can. I might buy some of this dye too. My first purchase has never Oops. Stop. I moved a sword. I moved a sword in my inventory. I bought the fancy die and the cloak. There you go. Sometimes. I, I, I moved a sword and it made him start talking. <laughs> it was like, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so now I believe. Let's see. While hiding, while obscured. So, if I am hiding and obscured, currently I crit on a 17. Fuck yeah. Also, I feel like us playing nice with that one guild lady is probably a good thing, because I'm not sure they'd let us in otherwise. Mm. You know? Right. Which crew are you with? Bellbreakers? The children of Hall. The names ring familiar. 
two of the many crews that make up so the guild. This looks fucking awesome. A loose on me. collective <laughs> with ties to every Fuck criminal yeah. enterprise in it the city. It looks really good. World. Mm. I have this wonderful red cape now. This fucking rules. Hell yeah. Worm skulls. Do you, do you like that cheeky lie? <laughs> the worm skull crew. Can't say I've heard of you. Spare me the story behind the name. I'm sure it's very scary. Ning. The it's because we have workers in our skull. With the Zentarim. They're here to work, not share war stories. Oh, the Zentarim. They're much used to us if they're drinking yeah. and dicing when the Stone Lord kicks the door down. Well, whoever he is, he doesn't seem very keen on talking. He came out of nowhere and ate up half our turf in a ten day. So if you're speaking to the Guildmaster, Maybe step soft around the topic. Hmm? Fair enough, Professor. I think we should talk to the guild master. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that's probably a good idea. Yeah, did you Fair see hands. my cloak? Oh, it's very pretty. Look at you. It's very pretty. It kind of goes with my armor, too. Mm -hmm. I'm liking it. Good, you should. It's just stylish. Oh. Fucked up my screen again. Oh, no. There we go. That kind of fits. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh... There we go. Got it. <laughs> wow, she's got a lot of specific ladies guarding her. Hmm. Hello, everyone. How are we? Lesbianism. Lesbianism. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? This is why they we call her Nine Fingers, you know what I'm saying? We should withdraw our protection, mm -hmm. at the very least. And this see more spooky mask. to the Stone Lord. You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... I wonder if the Stone Lord is, uh, fucking Gortash's people. Mm. I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on your. And hey, look, she's missing a pinky. Yes, hmm. Guildmaster. I. Excuse me. This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorn, General of the Absolute. Champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little less impressive as revelations go. You'll forgive the spying, I hope. The guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. You bet, baby. I mean to burn the absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. Yay, we're friends! Yay! Friends. Mm. I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but straight to business then. Oh, she talks to You've all the girls like that. Absolutely. Man. Gray of hair, <laughs> somewhat spiky of manner. Jahira. Jahira, Jahira. Jahira, Jahira. <clears throat> <laughs> 
You better not let a certain Harper hear that description, or somewhat spiky <laughs> the same way a morning star is, yes. Hmm. What's funnier? I think, uh, I think somewhat spiky is funny. Yeah. So you do know Jahira. <laughs> I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? I gotta find this minch guy as well. Oh, yeah. The other thing. Yeah. Her dumb friend. Yeah, her dumb friend. The men of the minch. I live to serve. Hmm. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. Jahira, Jahira. Details. Jahira, Jahira. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, Gordon. traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. <laughs> always the dead, bloody three. Has been so true, though. Can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. <laughs> so fucking God. True. It is always a dead bloody three. <laughs> Has been half gods who can't make their irrelevance anybody else's problem. That's oh, great. Man. I like her. She's fun. She's fucking awesome. <laughs> She's everything I'd want in like a thieves guild. Like a thieves guild master. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Mm. Mm. Nothing, never mind. Do I, I tell her everything? Tell um, I mean, it might help her. It, wait, wait, this might be a good gather our allies moment. Probably. Uh, huh. huh. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> Oh, that's don't annoying. help. For a brief second, I did weigh the odds on killing you. But if there's a tainted elder brain slopping <laughs> around below my city, I think we need one another more than ever. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? <laughs> Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. God. Um... The leader of some new crew it. that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on the message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the absolute soon. Yeah, this has got to be like Gortash. Yeah, I wonder if it's doesn't matter. Uh, Whatever God if it's the Orin doing to, a shapeshifter moment. Could be. It could be Orin. On probably on orders huh. from Gortash. Which yeah. part? So, yeah. The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. Orin's faceless try to pierce my ranks every day. While Gortash's toy soldiers control the streets. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. Yeah, fair. Yeah. We don't. The Zentarim work for me. Time was I'd charge the bastards double if I let them into my hall at all, but times change. The guild is many things, but it's not an army. If the Absolute keeps pushing in on our territory, then I need a little weight to push back. Ah. Thieves, frauds, and miscreants. If it's just the watch warrants you're reading. The Guild isn't any one thing. We're everything. All the parts of the city the watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. 
It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. The Watch, the Council, even the Parliament of Peers. They're the clean face they want the world to see. But the Guild is the blood, the bone, the gristle, the ugly bits that actually make Baldur's Gate move. We'll be the ones still holding the gate when all those others have fled. I see. Hmm. Well, Guildmaster, I'll just, uh... Lead you to, leave it to it. Leave it to it then. <laughs> and, uh... Well, she seems like a good ally to have. She does. Uh, I think we probably gotta do more with her if I had a hazard yeah, a guess. Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna involve us bringing Jahira to her. Yeah. Um, so we can either do that or we can stay on our quest to try to get lazy. Yeah, I wanna try to get lazy. I'm just <laughs> looking for what's probably like a teleporter here. Yeah. Oh, that's a point, yeah. Yeah gotta be like around this corner right yeah, it's gotta be like somewhere it's gotta be somewhere it's gotta be one teleporter <laughs> just not... you can't, can't escape, escape me, me. <laughs> uh, i'll chase you to the ends of the earth there's this door up here that might might provide answers i feel like that's just a door out Oh. Um. Revealed entrance? Hmm. Yeah, okay. And yes. now we're in a different part of the city. Not near a thing we know about. Okay. Right. Now we're by the docks, it looks like. Down, down, down by the docks. The docks. The docks. Uh, cool. I'm looking out for a thingamajig. Yeah, uh, there I'm isn't one here, it seems. For a thingamajig. Choose stop ready. Choose. put my hands on everything. I guess we'll just go misbehaving. I guess we'll go back in and I guess so. continue our lazy quest. Yeah. We have nowhere else to go and nothing else to do, so I guess we'll cry. Mm -hmm. Unless there's something else, but I don't think so. Gosh, I got to the, the crash on Kiwi. Yeah. Obviously, in her. And, um... I did not pass any of those checks uh, to tell her what was going on while the, you know, the um, the brain extraction stuff was going on. Oh, no. Golly, what in the she new still, Miho like, survives Zuni. because Max the dream wizard just blows up for you, but, like, I was very concerned for a minute there, and I'm still concerned because she does not fully believe that the, um, that the thing was meant to kill her. Ah, and I'm like, oh, this is going to make later, like, more difficult, isn't it? This is going to make the whole Blackhead thing a little harder, huh? Uh, it might. But I believe in you. I think you can do it. Hello, Nomad. I think Hi, I Nomad. Can. Yeah, do you like the new UI? Be honest. If you hate it, say something. How am I floating in the air by jumping more? There we go. On my screen, you were just jumping into the wall. It looked like Chu was doing the... You know, the, the Germa clip where he's playing the horror game and then the baby where he's running into the wall? <laughs> yeah. That was sort of about how it looked. That's very nice. Simple but effective. All right. Let me know if you don't like the game being this small. We may be mm -hmm. able to make adjustments, but... Mm -hmm. I think so far it looks nice. Like, of like a dip in a... Dip in, like, we used to make maps. And you, like, dip them in tea. You'd stain them to make them look old. Ooh. So, uh, are we gonna stealth on these bitches? Hi. Partial to a little, to a little sneaking around. 
allow me a moment to uh, put you on a, do my thing here. You know, do what I do best. Okay. I can try to talk to them because they are giving me a yellow. You could try, yeah. These guys are ball likes though, so I don't know what we're going to get out of them. Uh, but I am always ever so curious. Yes, and you are very eloquent, so I'm sure it will work out just fine. I, on the other hand, am going to stay hidden. Halt! This one is Never mind, I'm not going to stay hidden. Oh? Orin spoke of uh, he turned around to talk to you, you which then now means that I'm in his vision. Oh. Perhaps you it's wish okay, to I, can partake sort of get, I can just sort of walk out service. of it again. Go ahead. Anyway, their blood is yours. Um, yeah, so they're letting us kill the refugees if we want to, or we can just kill them. Or we can just walk past them. Uh, I like killing people. The refugees, then? No. <laughs> I know. Free them from your tyranny. You, you silly Billy. Boring. You act against Baal, and our Lord has no mercy for sinners. Funny I way to put. Shit about Baal. Baal. Hey, wait a minute. You're not allowed to do that. I'm dying. They fucking revealed me. You were gonna shield though. Fuck you. Gonna shield. Oh, they're threatened by you. That means I can stab someone. Isn't that always me too bad? Hey, nice. Uh, let me... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this is all so... This is all so enticing. I think I'll go for a regular crit this time. Why are you Aura of Murder? It's because she has the unstoppable bonus, so all the damage is reduced by one. <laughs> yeah. Murder hungry. Each time you kill a creature, gain one target of unstoppable, but you didn't even kill anyone. She had two charges of unstoppable. Oh, I guess she has been killing people all day long. Just keep critting her; it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just keep doing that. It's all good. I got it. You can't escape me. You can't escape. Legacy of a searing smite. <laughs> oh my god. Carlyx just built different, you know? A, like, falling over animation. If it did play, I didn't see it. It just looks like you just flattened her like a pancake. Don't worry, she did. Sometimes it's like I'm watching a three. fucking Tom and Jerry cartoon. Where's my free fireball? There's my free fireball. Also, they've got an oil barrel over there. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Why are they all running into the exploding room? <laughs> this girl had so many knives on her. She had four knives on her. Damn. Give a one to Carlex so she can sell it. Hop. What's this lever do? These boots have seen everything. Pull the lever, Kronk. Wrong lever. I don't think it did anything. <laughs> Smash cut to another room that just suddenly filled with blood. <laughs> I don't think it did anything. Just people screaming and dying. The entirety of the movie Evil Dead starts playing in another location. <laughs> oh no! Journey through the jungle! Ooh, ah! A vine, a tentacle? Uh, I don't care. Tentacle? Now hold on a minute here, maybe we No, we don't have time to be horny! <laughs> Silence, wench. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. I want to be happy. Yeah, anyway, they ran into a room full of explosives, so I don't know what happened here. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, that didn't end in the way that it logically would conclude. Oh. Ah! Ah! 
Uh, well, Sorry. I guess they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, I guess they're dead. Oh, oh my man. god. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, you know, you can save you can save people from ballists. You can't save them from themselves. Real. Well, it's a good thing you have me, the master of unlocking, to open this for you. Yeah. Now unlock it. I did. It's unlocked. Harder. Yes, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, can I unsay something? <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Oh. Oh, dear. You did this to yourself. I did. Okay, but there's also, like, there's, okay, there's a little raft over here, so we want to go with the little there. raft. Someone or... out there probably found that funny, uh, and that made it worth it. There's also a chasm with a mud method over there. Oh. So, like... I don't know. Baldur's Gate's like, what if we had people do some silly things? And I'm like, I'm silly things. Uh... Ha ha ha, Jonathan, you are banging my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Ready to pair- Kithrick Voss?! Wait a second. <laughs> what? What? Voss, this what man! Always ready to parry! He's always ready to parry. Glory of Mother Gith. Tell me you've taken the orphan- Uh, get, get back out of the boat! Get back out of the boat! Yeah, no, I'm gonna- I'm just, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- Yeah, we'll- we'll- we'll do that one later. <laughs> Bye, Kithrick Voss! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. We just roll up and he's just there, ready to parry, hands in front of Cr Crotch. Tell me you have the hammer. We just get back in the Hawk boat, shame. pull the lever, and leave. Hawk shame, ready to parry. Uh <laughs> He's always so focused. <laughs> he's I always know what the deal is with the ready to parry thing. <laughs> he's ready to parry. Oh my god. Also, Howlin, thank you so much for the for the raid. I super duper appreciate it. How was Baldur's Gate 3 for you? Where are you? I hope I'm not in spoiler land. Let me know if I am. How's it going? Oh my god. That was funny. How's your packed status? Oh, so exclamation mark packed is a is a command in my chat to remind me to bind Will's packed weapon. Oh. Um, which has become now just kind of a catch-all for any like any long rest things that we have to do is like covered under the the command of bind your packed weapon, stupid. Oh, I see. So anything, yeah. If we've got if we've got any once per long rest things we need to do, which mm. I think it was pretty much just long strider, right? Yeah, so like just long strider. That and like speak with animals, I guess, if you're so inclined. But uh... mm -mm. honestly, I could I could start just drinking elixirs, you know. Eh, it's not a bad idea. I'll try to speak with animals one. I could just start uh start just chugging this shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. Very close to the end? Okay, minutes. good. So we're not- I don't- I, you're probably ahead of us, I would assume. I'm we're just in the sewers, trying to, trying to find our frog. The invisibility. There you go. I miss my frog. I miss my frog, too. I miss oh, her no, so never much. Mind. I am going to drink this one instead. Elixir of Viciousness. Re the number you need to roll to land a critical hit is reduced by one. Yeah! So now you can crit on a 16 as a it's rogue. A Congratulations! <laughs> I also crit automatically whenever I kill something. Yeah! So, 
I'm just a crit machine right now. Speak up. Love that for you. Hey, that's a rat. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. sure. Whatever you okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. The fact that I can understand the rat despite not having to speak with animals. Yeah. Horrifying. Horrifying. Oh, they're grease really methods. He's ready to They can talk? There's oh a lot God. of slime going on here. Maybe we should go get Kip. Hey guys. What's this, Hi. Another absolutist. Oh shit, a rat. Is this the grease man, sir? Oh God took her what? mind, cultist. So Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. Are you the f the grease man, sir? you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I. Yeah, grease elemental. Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. What the fuck is oh, going on? Cousin says we will take <laughs> you in return. He says you just look like, just oh, like no. kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. I didn't say that. <clears throat> oh. oh. That's not what I said at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mevitz and Grace pressed me, you might see some real magic. <laughs> Although it's like, oh, you're, you're fucking little level one spell boy? God. I'm not wrong, I'm not with oh, you. Oh, that's a cute little spell. Did your mama teach it to you? Oh, why is this hard? Because he's crazy, probably. Probably. I don't want to fight the Grease wizard. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a really like insufferable combat encounter especially for me uh oh why can't i cast friends on him <laughs> hey grease wizard i cannot i am the last of us left to do the rights i must do the rights Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb. Did you go for a swim me when I'm, me when I'm kind of mediocre post-apocalyptic fiction. I am the last of us. <laughs> Okay, I'm. I. Why the fu- I fell? <laughs> uh, this... I, I have the night walkers, that means I can't. I can't slip on this. Shadowheart, on the other hand, absolutely can. The grease wizard. I'm gonna see if I can. I like corpse too damaged. Okay. Gated iron doors? Can I? There's a wooden chest. Okay, maybe we don't need to be in the grease. Maybe we just walk past Grease Boy. <laughs> help me! Okay, come on, come here. Carlac, help me. Strong tiefling woman, help me. Save me, strong tiefling woman, save me. Hold on, I'm coming. God, what the oh fuck God. is this? I don't know what's going on. I feel like we should just walk through. I don't know either. I I wonder, can I like can I talk to this guy? Corpse too damaged. Okay. Oh, Shadow Heart fell over. Uh, oh, um, no. I am the no. greasy girl. <laughs> You're so greasy. <laughs> Just walking through here was a goddamn nightmare. You're looking like a fucking WoW player right now with how greasy uh, you're getting. No. It's like an it's like a Magic the Gathering tournament in a non-queer city. No. I want to be surrounded by cute trans women, not I men who saying, haven't bathed in eight years. Friend, I was saying to a friend about like how you know I I need to get like involved in my local queer community a bit more 
And she kept saying, like, just play Magic the Gathering. And I'm like, honey, you gotta understand, the UK does not have the same thing. <laughs> the small towns in the UK do not have the same demographic of people that play Magic the Gathering as your, your big cities do. It's probably true. You know, I probably could meet people that way in my city, though. You probably could. Oh, but I'd have to play Magic the Gathering again. No, Ugh. The thing is, is that, like, my plan is to, like, visit, like, Philadelphia and then go to a Magic the Gathering place and, and look lost. That's my plan for meeting a lot of trans women all at once. There you go. Next it's, like trying to... To, it's, it's like trying to look lost in the manga aisle, you know? Mm, that's fair. Yeah. I'm like, I've, I have no idea how to play this game and I have such a cool accent. Come teach me. That's not a bad idea. Um, the next script torn from what London appears to be a larger journal. I need to get away oh. from it, Elias, for a while. I've been hiding down here for a while, and the dark is beginning to get to him. He keeps pushing his fire further and further into the tunnels. He almost burned a uh, barricade before I could get him out of the way. Those two can't keep their heads straight. Then I have to for all of us. I think that's the guy we just passed, the Grease Wizard. Yeah, I think so. And I mean, honestly, anyone who wants to get away from that guy, totally get it. Yeah, I think she's the one that got Wait, murdered, there's a, there's a chest as well that's locked here. Let me... Yeah, I think so. I got a 32 on that check. That's wild. Oh, it's an uh, alchemy ingredient. Oh, a peridot. Ooh. Claude. You, Claude! Claude. There's something uniquely funny about uh, a small green girl calling somebody a clod. That's I fucking love. I don't care. I don't care if Steven Universe is cringe. I love Peridot with my whole heart. She's so silly. She's so funny. I love her and her blue girlfriend. Real. Remember when Steven Universe had a villain and then they became a good guy, then had a villain, then they became a good guy, then had a villain, then they became the good guy, then had a villain, then they became a good guy. Hey, uh, I liked that. I liked that to an extent, okay? No, I mean, it, it is actually legitimately quite cute. Did they ever redeem... what was her name? Um, Jasper? No, I thought they just killed her, like, twice. I think, I, I think they just... yeah, I think Lapis just drowns her. Yeah, doesn't she? I think that's what happens. She like tries to come back and is like, let's fuse again. And it's meant to be like an allegory for like, you know, like an abuser coming back into your life sort of thing. Yeah, I think. And then she just fucking ices her. I think so. That's how I, re that's how I remember it and that's how I'm choosing to remember it. I think that's not a bad memory. Oh God, caustic brine. Oh, this is even worse than the Greece. I know. Where, why is this place... Oh, I wonder if we're fucking under the metalworks. Oh, yeah. No, she she lived in the woods for a while and I think taught Stephen how to fight or something. She came back, got corrupted, was revived, then fucked off to the woods. Jasper ends up fusing with a shard beast and losing her mind. Oh, God. I don't... Steven Universe lore be complicated. <laughs> it do be. I like that show overall, but man. It's got a lot going on. It does. They're... Okay, crap. Who the fuck is this guy? Potion of sleep. What? Why are the... Why is the sewer so big? <laughs> what is happening under here? Where's Lazy? <laughs> I just want to go like, see oh, Lazy. Boy. I just want a teleporter so we can, like, I don't know, fucking not get our asses lost down here. Mm. For real. Oh. This is the fantasy city, Sammy. <laughs> There's so much. I just want to save Lazy. Ah. Hmm. Good saving for <laughs> <laughs> I do just kind of like how that, like, it was a huge blast. Neither you nor Karnak even flinched. Letter, scrawled note, a plain unadorned note. 
Keep looking, Kank. Going real well for you, isn't it? Someone's making fun of us. <sighs> I think we're getting bullied. Maybe it's just Cabal Thief? Uh-oh. Hmm. Allow me to perceive something. Never mind, I don't know shit. I oh think God. that's a trapped chest. We don't know anything. Oh, jeez, I wonder what could possibly have taught you that. Well, that was funny. Like, the idea that we're just so strong that Force Blast can't really affect us. It's a nice touch. Just blows our capes back a bit and it's like, oh, that's cute. Just March hmm. chest. Oh, there's another one. Nice try, Jackanape. I haven't been called a Jackanape since the 18th century. Damn. You Jackanapes. Oh, sorry, I still need to open this one. Okay, I think I see doppelgangers over there. I, st I still don't know where we're supposed to go. Or why do you have the most confusing hideout ever? What are you looking for, suck thong? Whoa. Nobody calls me a suck thong and gets away with it. Nobody calls Ashley a suck thong and gets away with it. A greasy, smelly climb up? <laughs> well, well, well. Don't mind if I, I do. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Flynn Cargo's basement. Who the fuck is Flynn Cargo? I don't know. Everything's so big and confusing. I think this might be the basement of the, like, factory, though. Mm. Anyway, let's go a greasy, smelly climb down. Indeed. You guys ever try to stay on one task at a time when you have ADHD inside a game that is entirely too large? Oh, yes. Why is this guy sleeping? Like last group of refugees your husband was known to be traveling with. Sorry to tell you, but they seem to have crossed paths with the Absolute's forces. There's been no record of him since. Don't waste yourself on grieving. You fled El Terrell, find a better life for you both. Still yours to the taking. The guild always needs knife hands. You won't ever go hungry in my employ. I've included a small pouch, enough to buy a small funeral. Close that chapter of your life. Or short binge before you need to go looking for work again. Choice is yours. Yours, nine fingers. And this guy seems extremely unconscious. <laughs> he has impenetrable slumber. Looks like his husband got murdered. Can we wake him up? Do you think that, uh, like, Voss might be the key to progressing this? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know who else would appear. Like, I don't know. My, my brain is like, it's probably, I mean, he probably knows about Lazel, right? But then it's also like, who would replace him if it were like Halsin? Right. Who does Halsin know? <laughs> Halsin has no friends. Halsin does have no friends. Oh, uh, maybe we should go talk to him. I smell like. Uh... Let's see, because our quest marker. Or do we have to go to the tribunal? Hmm. Abala's target list. We found a delivery stage murder. Gortesh told us Orn resides in the Temple of Baal. We must find her temple as a way of getting in. Orn has kidnapped one of our members. We must find the Lash of Baal and free our companions. Yeah. So is that is that the tribunal, maybe? Do we have to go do... Do we have to go get that thing? Ah. Oh, mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's all so much. It's too big. It's too overwhelming. I'm gonna get real whiny about this. Uh, 
Impress the murder tribunal. Go to Candle Hallow's tombstones to find the Ballas tribunal. Mm. I mean, that's over by the guild hall. Yeah. Do you, Do you guys know, like are we on even remotely the right track? Or are we are we just fucking like so lost in the sauce here? Are we going the right way? Is this the right way to find her? It's not really clear. It's just like, oh, one of your friends got kidnapped. And that's like all we have to work off of. We don't even have like a quest marker. Lotions and potions. Lotions and potions, I needed this right now. Hello, everyone. I cackled. Did you know that 2 plus 2 equals 4? Simon subscribe for that's kind of lotions and potions. You can't escape me! <laughs> um anyway Petulant bollocks <laughs> you can't escape me petal I'll chase you to the end of the earth petal petal <laughs> you can't escape from me you me you me Alex. Alex. <laughs> pet, pet, petulant bollocks. Pet, 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 petulant bollocks. Oh boy. I'm moving. I'm, I'm moving. Oh boy, I'm moving. Oh boy, I'm moving. Hmm. I'm talking oh. about tainted water. Oopsie daisy. If he can't get be awakened, I guess he can't be awakened. Awaken. But apparently, we're in the area. So we are in the right place it seems I'm thinking it might just be this fucking place better to avoid it this awful Could. little place because if you see there's a few more bally looking guys this way true but i think we also passed bally bitches like in this other direction over there mm. there's but... a funny looking vault door if we follow that pipe hmm and it's been a long time since I've played Fallout. It's been a long time since I've laid down some pipe, too. True and real. Um, anyway. Uh. Bandon's sister. See how the sushi day goes. Anyway, um. <laughs> da Kevo Fogey! Of course. How could it? She's killed seven people. Oh no, she had two. I, I read her unstoppable as seven. She only has two though. Hello, fellow ballites. Just as Hello, I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. Okay. But wait. Okay, I'm I'm starting to remember things. Hold up. If we do the Ballas Tribunal thing, does that mm. help us get to Orn without fighting people? Was that a thing? I don't remember. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. I d I don't fucking remember you. There's 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 too much. <laughs> yeah. Do you want an answer? Yes, please. We're never going to find out otherwise. Please, God, help us. Because mm -hmm. I thought I remember that being like an important step or something. It's like vaguely coming back to me, but my brain is only so full with so many knowledge. <laughs> Why do you have fucking sanctuary on you? Go fuck yourself, you pretentious twat. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just fucking, um... Uh... It will lower the amount of count encounters you have to do. Okay. We don't have to do it, it seems. I don't want it- I don't want it to be a thing where, like, um... Oh, God. Wow, he's beating the shit out of you. I don't want it to be like a th murder of crows. 
I <laughs> uh, get it because it's it's murder. <sighs> oh. Wait a minute. This is bad. Heading out. Yes, Ashley. Wait a minute. This isn't funny. This is terrible. Mm -mm. I just don't want us to get, like, get into a situation where it's like, oh no, we didn't do the thing we were supposed to do, and now Lazelle is dead as a result. That's like all I really care about. You killed my wife? I'm trying to not kill your wife, actually. We're trying to save your wife. That's why we're trying to do this in a way that works. <laughs> it's just really hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, disintegrate? No. Disintegrate, disintegrate, disintegrate. It would no. be really funny to be fair. In my opinion, do the murder, murder tribunal. Hmm. Mm. That does sound like that could get very funny. It does sound like it could be kind of funny. What is anyway, the murder tribunal? Uh, no way. I want to do this because you guys are fucking rogues. Uh huh. Oh, Lamal. Uh, the Myrtle Tribunal for Bali Team Ball. Mm. But I don't know what that means. So, it's the Murder Tribunal for Team Ball. That's all the information I have. <laughs> okay, right. I, I think it's something that we can go do to, like, prove ourselves is, like, murder people. I see, okay. And that might get them to do something. I thought maybe I was missing information, but I no, see that's no. that's about all I got. <laughs> I think we were told that by Orin. I don't know. Yeah, I think she, it like she's told. You might have told us to go do it. I don't know. If it was, it was like a month ago or more. <laughs> it was a while. Like honestly, I kind of wish Halson had been yoinked instead of Lazel. How? <laughs> I feel less need to do. <laughs> Just to fucking... do it. It just fucking blind me, this bitch. Yeah, Sh Shark's been blinded too. It's a good thing I don't need to be able to see to use spirit guardians. True. He <laughs> uh, uh, moves one step this way. Ends my turn, refuses to elaborate. <laughs> you have your directions to head if you need it? Uh, for the tribunal? Because that's on the surface, right? That's like in a graveyard, I think. Mm. Yeah, there is there is a quest marker that leads out of like an exit to this place um, that shows that. Mm -hmm. That uh, that has that um, quest attached to it. For the tribunal, but in general. Yeah, yeah. I love, I fucking love Lily. Who needs sneak attack when I just have crits out the ass? Ow. Hello, man. <laughs> You are making some good concentration saves. I think we explored the end pretty thoroughly, didn't we? We went to the second floor of the end? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I I thought we had at least. Sorry, that was like violent. Holy shit. Was that a sneeze? Yeah. Nice. Um, you know what? Let's see you make all these saves. 
Sweden. Okay, she did. Also, well, but I killed her though, so fuck she her. She did die, so that, which is really the ultimate failure of a uh, death save. True. Or a con save. I, I do think it's funny that I'm just like, all right, make these save. Makes all of them, but dies. <laughs> Damn. The best crowd control is death. True. And you're unstunned. I'm unstunned. Shadow Heart, you're so fucking cool. So I killed her and all the crows are still around? Shit, mm. <laughs> they just can't hit her. <laughs> Why'd she throw a bomb at me? Oh, now anyway. they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Spirit Guardian. Um, are they like birds that float around her? Hmm? Are they bird? Oh, there's still one more crow. Yeah, they're little. They're sort of little birdies. Yeah. Huh. Let's see if I can. Let's get close. Can you dash? I can, yeah, but I could also do something that does like more damage. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, to be fair, I might not. Eh, we'll see. Microwave. Because you could all. You also might be able to like, yeah, walk there. And hit her too. True. True. We nice. The microwave. Uh, That's Lily. Cool. Okay. Thank you, trackpad. <laughs> Thank you, trackpad. Incredibly cool. Uh, I can just shoot this crow if you want. Okay. If oh. you want to, if you want to flatten this crow. Flattened. Oh, Executioner. Cool. Well, that was pretty cool. Where's the... There's one more crow. Where are they? There's, there's one more crow. It's up here on the oh. pipes. I can Another. just run up to it and stab you, stab you. Oh, or you can... Yeah. No. That works. These boots have seen everything. Sorry, I, I, already, I already clicked on the button. No, that's all good. Good job, team. Take five. Ooh, I'm crossbow. I will take that. Take five, you say? I can dual wield these. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so are we. There's the Schlush gate. Schlush. 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 I am not a jack o' lantern. My name is Schlush. Don't get scalded. Okay. So there's a little puzzle here, but I think we're gonna go try to be Ball's favorite little princess. Um, I think we should do that, yeah. yeah. That sounds pretty good. All right, let's go be Ball's favorite princess, which means we have to get the fuck out of the sewers. <laughs> um, I'm God's favorite princess, and the most interesting girl in the world, brackets Ballite. We could just teleport. Teleport. Where are we teleporting to? But wait, there's no teleport back down here. Mm -mm. Is there like a teleport in this area, guys, that we've just like somehow conveniently missed? Be awful convenient of you. I'll give it a shot. <sighs> so I'm just watching Kyle like fall on her ass. Rip Carla. I'm discovering some of the technical limitations of Steam Remote Play, which is that if you have a, a slightly, even slightly choppy connection, um, your entire screen goes one color. Yo. And everything is a little pixelated. Ooh. I think I found some weird shit. Incomplete journal? Uh, serious Eris Baraki, don't be mad if you find this, boys. I'm not trying to keep treasure from you. We just ripped off Gortash. I know you two. Uh, all you're gonna do spend it all on is one spot to draw the bastard Archduke to B's notice. For your protest, remember Telex Bakery years back? My best to deny it all to the fist, and you two didn't even bother wash the cake from your gobs. If you found this, it means I'm off doing my business in the tunnels. So put it back, pretend you never saw it like sweet little deers, and wipe your faces. Saren? 
All this hair looks pretty bally. We've got friends of the guild. Uh, this must be where those guys were hiding. Well, there's another stained mm. journal fragment. We have nowhere to go. Barky wanted to try Guild Hall, but there's too many different crews there, too many eyes and ears that might be reporting back to Gortash and his damned cult. It's just Baraki, Aelis, and I. We can't trust anyone else. Let's have a look. Yeah. Mm. Tragic. Yeah, this way through this wall, it looks very ball murdery. So. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, there's a teleporter, though. There is a teleporter. Oh, but is there like a guy in the way? I'm going to save here. I just want to see if we can grab the teleporter. Yeah, there's a funny rat, but that's about all we've got so far. I think as long as we just don't touch anything and we stay very quiet. Undercity ruins. That voice was penitent Baraki. Oh, is that the guy? I was mentioned in the thingy. Maybe he got picked up by the cult. No, 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 no. No, just... Yes, waypoint discovered. Thank God. Hey. Okay, we got it, we got it. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're so cool. All we right, gotta go be Ball's favorite people. princesses now. Where are we dropping, boys? Uh, uh Riverton. Rivington? Ba bass. Ball, ball, baller gate. Mm -hmm. Baldur's Ba-bam. gate. <laughs> Baldur's gate? We're teleporting Ball. to Baldur's gate? Baldur's gate. <laughs> yeah, Baldur's gate. Okay, I'm teleporting to Baldur's gate. Steel Watch, Mystic Carrion about Oscar, Belogis Fireworks, Bookseller, Murder Target, Baron's Coop, Diabolist, Czar, Cazador. Okay, where the fuck are we supposed to go? Cazador. Uh, Cazador? Cazador. Cazador. He's looking. He's looking. I do like how Asterion says Cazador the first time you hear his name. Stay away from the gate. Ah. Oh. The brain. Top right of lower city map. Yeah, I think I think Sal's right. I think I did just see oh, a spot yeah, right there. So let's near, let's teleport to Basilisk the, Gate. Yeah, it's near the Elfson Tavern. We're wrong. Oh. Ding. Okay. Cazador, he's found me. Cazador. Cazador. Oh, oh. oh, there's a tabernacle that we couldn't do anything with. I love it. I love the word tabernacle. Okay, is this? Yes, I think we're going the right way. Mm -hmm. We did it. We somehow managed to neon green dragonborn. Hey, yeah. Oh my god, he's glowing. If you can't afford it, stop wasting my time. Oh. What you talking about? You don't want none of this. Trust me. All right, mysterious dragonborn. Hi, okay, Jitters. Okay, sir. It's not what it looks like. I promise. Are they gonna fuck or something? I How about this? Oh, it's a drug deal. <laughs> oh. Damn, I thought she just wanted that that drock, if you will. That dragussy. That drock, that dragussy. Oh, we can steal their mail. Oh, yo, I love stealing mail. Speak Pendle your loss. Hallows tombstones, remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. A self-help book explaining that true happiness begins with a tidy house Pendle and well-polished floorboards. Tombstones. That's what's in the mailbox. Hey, I will agree that uh, having a tidy home does improve your mentality. It genuinely really helps. 
Like, I know that we're all, like, uh, mad at our moms for trying to keep a tidy house, and obviously it's not like they did a good job of, like, explaining or doing anything to support us, but actually having a tidy space is really nice. Tidying your space is good. Having tidy space is nice. Do you want me to unlock this door? Yes, please. A couple turns should do it. Also, oh, thanks, I Sal. We got new shells. Thank you, Sal. I got new shells recently. My room is way tighter than it used to be, and I'm, I'm way... I'm, I'm doing great. Honestly, I'm thriving. Hell yeah. I'm thriving. I'm going in. As the resident murderer. Umber trousers? Oh. Umber trousers? Do you want to put the pants on? I... Everybody knows that I wear the pants. Yes, Ashley. Things that are clearly true. Says you, my mother was lovely and explained exactly where I need to keep a nice space. Must oh, be nice, Sal! Yeah, yeah, I'm just titties out right now. Must be nice! I am fully just in my underwear. Fuck yeah, we love that. If I took, if I took off my underwear, take oh. off my underwear, I'm just titties out. I'm titties out. I'm Dragonborn titties in your face. Um, we love the good old sports bra pants look. Totes. You know, why do, why do Dragonborns wear bras? Gender affirmation. Sal, you mean Nomad? Wow. <laughs> Shit. Look, I'm used to yelling at both of you. And I was just talking to Sal. My apologies, Nomad. Actually, really, my apologies, Sal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, Nomad, fuck you. <laughs> it's not fair if you receive abuse that is not warranted. True. Um. Anyway, must be nice, Nomad. You guys also both have the same shade of red. This is true. It, like, it genuinely does confuse my brain sometimes. It does. Sorry. <laughs> um, you all... You also are si occupy similar positions in my life where you sit on the sit on the wall and throw peanuts at me. <laughs> so the red is not an excuse. Yes, it is. Mispronouncing Sam and Sal is not that. That's not that hard. It's very Let's easy. Let's be honest here. Yeah. Let's be honest with ourselves. Well, here. Give me a break. I'm going through so much right now. I have You're to find my so frog. Well. You're doing so well. We're gonna find so well. Where is my frog? frog? Where is my frog? Where is it's my Wednesday, frog? It's Wednesday, It actually is Wednesday, holy shit. Man. It's Wednesday, Istic. It's Wednesday, Istic. I post that in my in the Discord where I play my Get Yankee all like every Wednesday. Good. Even if we're not playing that day, I still <laughs> post it. Which actually I need to post it today. Sorry, I'm just looking at Oh, that's a rip cage. That's pretty cool. Uh, what am I? What am I unlocking? Gilded chest. Gilded chest. Oh, I'm I'm like lore walking. This is trapped. Never mind. It says seekers. It's like you see the tribunal. Let death be your guide. For what is behind death but murder? A peaceful end. <laughs> Lord I didn't. Dravage. Remember, you are in the business of making Candle Hallow's tombstones look like a genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half a gain too high so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than an actual going concern. The management. So this place is one of those American sweet shops that you see in London that's actually just there for money laundering. Ah, love those. I must have told you about that phenomenon. A fine selection it's the funniest of shit in the world. The one indispensable tool of the artisan's workshop, it seems. Tongs. So many tongs. What? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm, A fine Amelia selection Tyler's of having tongs. fun with this. The one indispensable Me too. tool of the artisan's workshop, it seems. Tongs. So many tongs. I love um, that you could just hear her smiling her way through that line. Exactly. It's very sweet. I thought that there might yeah. be like a secret door behind this bookcase. 
Well, that's what I think the perception check is for, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Sharp. Did you also get to get to do this? Hmm. Shouldn't have wished mm. to live in more interesting times. Don't waste a step. Ah, uh, well, guess we have to try something else then. I've managed to get Shadow Heart stuck in Rainforest, oh, meticulous in life, mellifluous in death. I think I burned my fries by reheating them. How did you burn your fries? Okay. Maybe if we go to the place around the corner here? Because we, we can't do that fucking... I mean, yeah. we failed the perception check, so, like, I don't know what else to do. I'll take that. I guess we'll just go this around is, the back. This is just like a real D and D game where the DM's like, "All right, everyone, make a check for this extremely important thing that you need to do," and everyone just fails. Yeah. And then DM's like, "Uh, well, you, that wasn't supposed to happen." And then we go, "Why did you make us roll for it then?" And then DM goes, "Uh." Well, clearly, you own an air fryer. Thanks to these murders, I can. Oh, he's a coffin maker. Ah. Honestly, people are dying too far. Oh dear. Whoa. Whoa there. Fuck. What do we do? Computer is explode. Oh no. No, we're good, we're good. Clearly you own an air fryer. I actually just got an air fryer. I haven't used it yet though. Yo, I used my, I used our air fryer for the first time the other day. I was always afraid of using it because it's it's like shorted out the fuse in our house like three times. Oh. <laughs> because the because air fryers are like not very stable pieces of equipment. <laughs> They're great, but they will also, like, just sometimes just cause your electricity to go a bit of a fuck, you know? What's that? What's one? What's one? What do we look at? Oh, a graveyard. Little pipe. Um. Hey, so, uh. So, uh, dig, wizard, dig. Hello, friend. I thought I was done for. Lady Look, bless you. Why did you get buried, my guy? What were you doing out there? Sightseeing. What do you think? I filched the wrong baldy and got myself buried for the trouble. Stone Lord, he calls himself. Oh. More like stone shies. <laughs> oh. The gang boss has been all up in Nine Fingers territory. He's brutal. Steer clear. Look, I ain't got much in the way of thanks, but the stiff below has some fancy doodads. You're welcome to them. Oh. Do love fancy doodads. Oh, wow, he does. What has he got? A oh. magical tank. Fancy oh, clothes. Raffish midnight outfit, meaning sly. <laughs> they include the definition for raffish here. Nice. <laughs> Comes from raffish buck daydream, whose fashion this ensemble mimics closely. I can try it on first if you like. Or... No, too late. Sorry, mine. That's fair. It looks like it's gonna be the same color as my skin, so. Let me see. Let me let me have a look at you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. It's, it's a little it's kind of dashing. Now as dashing as my titties outlook. Or no, really realistically my suit. 
Here, I'll train, give it train, to you, though. Train, train, train. That's right, you have a fucking top hat? Yeah, I still have my top hat. I'm gonna put it on right now. Or I'm helping you out. Taking some stuff off of you that I can sell. Oh, it looks actually really good on Lily. Oh, damn. Damn. New clothes for Lily? Hmm. But my hero outfit is so cool. True. But yeah, maybe maybe new camp clothes for Lily. I can... <laughs> Shadowheart can have her clothes back. But yeah, please do take stuff off me that, that you can sell, dear god. Yeah. Um, do we... Or shall I let you cook a bit? We could try to enter through the mausoleum or the mortuary. Let's try that first. Um, and then, Sal, you can tell us something if we need it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's awful. Here rests Alistair Manley, taken too soon. I fear not, my child. Your daughter's casket will have to be. Sorry, um, this is so... This is not the way. Can I mention something you might be missful while you're here? Sure, what's the missable thing? There's only 10 trillion other things. <laughs> Darren Bald Mausoleum. That's not even me trying to be sassy, I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm also tired. Because I think maybe the mausoleum could have something, you know? Oh, you're tired, girl. Oh, that that's What's broken. There? Hey, what? Why am I doing a strength check? To open it. Okay, well, let me Ooh. back out here. Come on, Carlac. All you, girly. Okay, Carlac, go. There's so much shit in this act in general. There, God, there so is. Nice. Okay, I got it. Oh, 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 ghost dogs! Gorgeous. Oh, there's a dog Zimmer. in there. He's got a potion of speed in there too. His okay. Houndmaster pole. Maybe we shouldn't have been in here. Why is this the thing? Check the graves near the tree. Mm. Thank you. Oh my God. All dogs go to heaven. Well, that was my turn. Nice. Overall, pretty successful. Oh no. What the fuck? How Master's Prey? I don't like that. Hmm. Um. They're blinded from the undeath stuff. Um. Mostly everything I do to them is resisted. Can I dominate Beast? Oh, no, they're, they're a ghost, of course. There's a cute possibility here and a horrible possibility. Yeah. Let's just do this. Oh, you're immune to being entangled. Of course you are. I mean, why? Why not? All right. Uh. Oh, I... Put on my suit too. Put my little witch hat. Alright, Carlac. Um need to learn the hard way. Loser. Loser. Whatever, major loser. <laughs> Shield. Save me, traumatized cleric. Save me. Save me, traumatized cleric. Save me. Bubby uh, bubble. Abu Dhabi. 
Abra pipa pipa po po. Save me, rogue that just can't just... stop critting. Save me. I love how I just I just don't not crit anymore. That's great. Oh, I can make a ranged attack with my offhand weapon too. Yeah, shoot him. Because now I well, I, they're too close. Sluggardly. Sluggard. Oof, I'm leaning over too much. This is fucking Houndmaster's mark anyway. Ooh. Prey essence. Hmm. That's cool. Anyway, lightning hand. Another step forward. Now this is my happy place. Good idea, Carlac. <laughs> Carlac talking to herself with a third person on her turn. <laughs> I love Carlac. I love Carlac. She too. like me for real. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Ah, he he. Now he's got an orb. Orb. He probably feels silly. Health check. No shrimping. Take a sippy or face shrimping. short wrath. No shrimping? I don't want to face short wrath. Health check. No shrimping. Okay, I'm sorry. I swear I'll stop shrimping. Swift as my feet can carry me. No, I don't want to fucking. I. Okay, let me let me out of here. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Apparently, something good here. I Mr. Houndmaster has a whole thing about himself. Here lies the Houndmaster of the Durin Bolds, surrounded by his <laughs> loyal pack, good boys and girls all. Oh. Hmm. Look, we oh, found a, a feather token. Oh. And a hole. Well, well, well. And there's one thing I know. Where there's a hole, there's a goal. <laughs> Christ. Uh, did I ever tell you uh, my roommate and I were playing FF14? And someone came mm -hmm. up to him and uh, said to her the... Um, said to him the... Uh... uh just like like in the game like whispered to them and started talking to them and we're all like ah nah not not super interested and they were like well where there's a hole there's a goal right yep uh, i miss 14. <laughs> this was in limsa of course of course yeah i mm -hmm. should move over to malbara so i can play with you guys properly we are fun and silly we're in the Gorian play. Mausoleum. Maybe oh, the Gorians! And have it be normal. Uh, the Gondians? The Gorians. Greg Gorians. We, um, we cannot follow you in here. <gasps> oh, it's because I'm small! Yeah, it's because you're small. Hmm, do I disturb the sarcophagus? Oh, no. No, get me out of here. I don't want to disturb the sarcophagus. Oh, let me out. Let me out. I have to be so strong to touch everything. True. Huh. That's cool. Anyway, I'm small. No, wait, let me go back through the hole! You're so little. Let me go back through the hole! It won't let me go back through the hole! Where the fuck are you? I'm stuck! Where? I need help! <laughs> oh What's God. going on? I'm gonna walk outside and try to find the normal entrance to where you are. She really did just like fucking walk into Sammy stuck in a hole. She really did was like, oh, that's a hole I can crawl into. Crawls in, immediately collapses. <laughs> huh. Where are you? I, I don't know, the Gorian Mausoleum?
I found the exit. Mm hmm. Oh, you're over there. Okay. I'm over here now. Carlac needs a little redirection, but yeah, she'll she'll be able to find us. Just gotta grab your wife real quick because she's not here. Chew. Chew. All right. Can't wait for Zumi to meet the Rothgal. Same. Is it time to rest? What the fuck is that? Is this part of a game? You're going to be in so much trouble. Hey, my first friend here. Oh. I'd love to pay them a visit. <gasps> yes. Breathe deep and move. Carlac. Here lie Pluck and Carlac Cliffgate. My parents. Oh. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. She named after one of her uh, parents? Yeah. Sorry, I haven't visited. I've been uh, away. But I'm back now, and I brought friends. I miss you so much. Oh. But I'm happy and getting up to some really important shit. Maybe you can see for yourselves. I don't know. You're with me here. Anyway. Taters. Tater? <laughs> Men, I love you in the Cliffgate household. I can't even remember how it started anymore. Lost family law. There was a lot of silly nonsense in our house. My mates used to say we had our own personal language. I guess I'm the last remaining speaker. Mum used to say there was no such thing as death. That there was only change. Dad thought that was a load of woo. That gone meant gone, unless you'd struck a deal with one of the gods. Said he had better things to do in life than beg favors off immortals. I'm not sure what I believe. <laughs> yeah. We don't die, we just nice change. Thought, isn't it? This grass could be my mum's hair. The air in my lungs might be my dad telling me taters. I like that. Uh, <laughs> husband and father. She's named for her mother. So this is the thing you wanted me to see, right? <laughs> mm. She's named for her mom. Here lies Carlac Cliffgate, beloved wife and mother. Help me. I how her parents Darling. even died. Because I could have asked that, but that felt like, you know, mm. in poor taste. Yeah. I love taters. Taters. <laughs> taters. What does that mean? It's like, uh, I love you in the Cliffgate household. I don't know why, though. I bet Just... it's his laters, taters, you know. Yeah, probably, right? Like, laters isn't, you know, it's like a, a loving farewell. Laters. And then that just became tater. Probably. I could see that, yeah. Yeah. And then that, and then taters just became more general use. I love you. <sighs> also, props on Carlic for having like the only good parents. <laughs> Real. This is, uh, this is the thing I made a point of when I made Rang was to just be like, yeah, her parents were nice. Her parents were nice. They're gone now, but they were good. <laughs> Shard's parents? Hey, Shard's parents loved her. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah. 
Shadow Hearts, uh, Shadow That's Hearts parents also it. liked her. She still didn't get to have like a normal childhood. Absolutely. Which is more the spirit of what we're saying, I think. Yeah. I would probably agree with you. Like, Carlite got a good upbringing. Yeah. Carlite got a good upbringing. Um, I don't know if we know that much about Asterion or Gale, but considering that they never mention them ever, mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, right? There's much there. Oh, uh, we know Will's family situation, not good. We know Lizelle's family situation, not good. Um, Shadowheart had nice parents, but, you know, her whole childhood kind of sucked. Yeah, no. And she also spent, like, a lot insignificant amount of time being forced to torture them. Yeah. You know, it's like... Her parents were nice, but, uh, you know, her relationship with them is difficult at best, I would say. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Gail's mother just sounds very intense. Mm hmm Well, that was really sweet, Carlac. That made me tear up. Hi, strange beggar. What's this guy? What's Morbius doing here? Come out, Morbius. Sister. I will find you. An air of decay hangs over the stooped beggar's form. The smell of rot. The smell of death. Jahira is a good mother. Hmm. She likes to play. You know, that's an interesting, that's an interesting bit. Is Jahira a great mother? I don't think so. I don't think I'd call her a good mother. I think she, I think she loves her kids. Mm. I don't think she's a good mother. I think she's probably an okay mother. You know, when she's there. <laughs> Yeah, when she's um, there, she's probably fine, but... But she's not very... there frequently. <laughs> yeah, they make a very big point on the fact that she was absent to the point where a lot of them just refer to her by name. Yeah, uh, that's usually a bad sign. <laughs> and, like, and it's not me, like... Sorry, that's not me trying to be like, <laughs> well, um, actually... But that's like, um, I think it's an interesting... There is the bad guy. <laughs> I think it's an interesting question. Is like, is Jahira a good mother, or what kind of a mother Jahira is? I think Jahira is a very realistic mother, mm -hmm. and I think that's interesting. Yeah. Right, because like a lot of games and a lot of fantasy and a lot of stories have the habit to make characters who are they're either the best, most amazing parents ever, or the they're the most abusive, horrible wretches to exist. Right. Yeah. You rarely get portrayals with. Jahira, where it's clear that she loves her kids and that her kids love her, but there's also like a lot of nuance there and like a lot of issues still present. They're very realistic. Um, I like what Sal said. Yeah, hot take. Jahira's a Harper. She can't be a good mom. Just too much going on. Um, Trump got the only good parents or dead parents, something like that. Something like that. But I still think it's I think I still think it's interesting. Like J Jahira being a mother is interesting, and I think like her parenting is interesting. Yeah. Right. Um. Because I, I think it's clear that they they love her and that she loves them too. It's just like, um. Mm -mm. There's a lot of complicated bits. I was thinking the part where she kicked mm -hmm. a guy in the balls for implying her, he, she isn't really her children's mother because they're adopted, and that put up her up a step in my brain. I mean, it should. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't think she's a, I don't think she's a great mom. I don't think she's a bad mom either. Like, I, I'd say she's a very realistic portrayal because yeah, she does stuff like that. She kicks, she kicks a stranger in the balls because like, they imply her adopted kids aren't her kids, right? But also, Jahira's gone a lot. And she has young kids, too. Not just, like, adult kids. Like, she has young kids. And she's yeah. kind of saddling the burden of child-rearing on older children. Yeah, on her older kids. Even if they are adults, right? But they seem like young adults, right? They seem like they're 18, 19, 20. Um, yeah. That's still a lot of pressure to put on kids. Yeah. And she's a loving mom, but she's also an absent mom. Precisely. I think that their relationship 
has a few issues that could be easily solved. Or not easily solved, but are completely solvable. Uh, mm. Through some... Through some not at the end of the world, not while there is a big elder brain happening conversations and maybe some quality time. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I and agree. also, maybe she just takes like a year, take a year off or something. <laughs> like, just you know, take a take a sabbatical, Jahira. Like, <laughs> it's okay. No, your things will be yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's an army mom. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's kind of yeah. I think it's a good way to put it. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not saying any of that to be like, uh huh. I'm saying that to be like, oh, this is like interesting. Yeah. Right. This is like this is different. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's an interesting conversation. Real, realistic parents in media, right? Yeah. I think it's fun. Sister is older than me. She always likes to play. She hides in the ground. But I will find her. Okay. Mother and father hide in the ground with her. I hope I find oh. them soon. I like this game, but it is less fun to play it alone. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's sad. <sighs> This is a kid over here just like praying to Merkel. That's the thing. The girl over here? No. The one over here. Is she doing some uh, necromancy over here? I think she's trying to. I think she's trying to like bring Keep someone back. The Mortark don't take kindly to raising the dead. But I won't be long, I promise. Um... My big brother, Garrett. He got killed by that murderer guy. But I'm gonna fix him. Now, keep watch. Exorde me, The air crackles with power before fizzing out. The child mm. has power but lacks control. I love Chew with her hat. Yeah. I can love feel her hat. your shadow. Give my brother back, please. Uh. I got a wizard strength roll. What the fuck is that? Raising a fallen creature? Paltry magic. Allow me to explain. I can, or I can just teach her. So either I try to persuade to let him rest in peace, or I try to be like, hey, actually, I know Ray's undead. <laughs> or try to make a strength check as a fucking wizard. That is a weird one. Uh, I'm gonna save and try it. I hope it's not like a crazy DC. Yeah. It sounds like it might be funny. Might be. Also, such a wizard thing to do to refer to a whole person as a as a creature. Yeah. Hey. Let's see what happens. She nods along, enraptured by your explanation. I give her a magical lecture. Oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> Let me try again. I'm sure this will go fine. Merkel, the guy whose avatar we merged? Yeah, I'm not sure he'd be happy to see us. Uh, no, oh, oh, no! Chew, what have you done? Oh, hey, well, I mean, the guy was level 8. Uh, so. Damn. Garrett Dortmel. I mean, hey, good job, I guess. Um, well... I did though, so I do have advantage against him, which means I can just um, get rid of this undead ward aura. Which will be helpful, I think. 
I think the lesson was a bit too effective, Chew. Mm. You could say that. This is like Fortnite dance. Power and fear. <laughs> You're, uh, just so good at this, honey. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Actually, you know what? I just wall it. Okay, no, I, I should not wall of fire the child. Chu did all of this, and then just Shadowheart, Harlack, and Lily all just exchange glances like, oh, she didn't learn humanities. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. She was like, well, this She's is that, like, I... kid who didn't learn humanities. <laughs> He's like, well, you see, magic is an interesting thing. Like, to raise the dead, you have to blah, 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 blah. Like, starts talking. Shadowheart, Lily, and Chew. Or, Shadowheart, Carlac, and Lily standing behind Chew, like, hey, should we stop her? Is she pro- Oh, hey, the Mortriarch is here. Oh, oops. Is she, uh, she might be a cleric because she approached the necromancy by calling to Merkel. Yeah, you know, actually, you might have a point, my friend. Merkelian cleric. Okay, I don't want to kill this kid. Um... Uh, yeah, you know what? Fire. Well, most of them are dead. Good stuff. Yeah. The Grand Slam. Grand Slam, baby. Save a cheese melt for me, Silver. Death take you, vile creature. Thank you, Mortriarch. To be fair, Galax probably thinking like, well, I don't understand all the funny magic words my darling is saying, so surely the kid will- Ah, zombies! <laughs> <laughs> she has that line where she goes like, fucking wizards, man, when she's talking about Gale, and I imagine she repeats it just then. True. Fucking hey, wizards, man. No, Mod, stay out of this. Mod? Uh-oh. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. <laughs> Oh, this person was just like grieving two seconds ago. Just, like, <laughs> She's throwing fuck fucking hands. Up. I'm gonna fuck someone up right now. Let's see. Says Lily on her flute. Lily, stop! Your swag is too great. You're far too cool. They'll kill you. <laughs> They'll kill you. <laughs> Oh. These guys don't have very good. Mecky, thank you so much for 39 months. Did you know that 30 plus 9 is 39 times as you subscribe for this guy? Blood! How are you? Watch this. Yeah, kill his ass. Kill his ass. Just love how I just can't stop critting. Okay. All I do is crit, crit, crit no matter what. This is probably a relatively safe shatter, don't you think? Um... Sure! Yeah. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Hey, my phone ran out of charge. Time. Oops. We are desecrating graves. Um... We are. We're doing evil things. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Okay, come on. Oh, it's your turn? Oh, shit, sorry. Is it? One second. 
Sorry, I was reopening chat on my computer so I can just tab through. Uh, oh, I never hit in turn. Silly me. This is a great idea, though, to have a cleric just chillin'. Mm. In, like, a graveyard. Yeah, chillin' in the graveyard. Oh, hey. We leveled up. We're level 11. No, no, girl, you didn't, you didn't ruin every... Oh. No. Oh, she is speeding away. Uh... Light on my feet. I feel oh. bad. <laughs> Like some flowers, they do a wonder, brightening up a grave. I bring fresh ones. To Girl, you're about to fist fight a skeleton. <laughs> of course. Aww. Uh, I'm gonna buy some belladonna because I can. Belladonna. Come back anytime. Fortune's carrying belladonna. Yippee. So it's not for looking at. It's for uh, it's for spicing drinks. More for me. Huh. Well. well that poor child. <laughs> Let's level up. Yeah, I feel bad about that. All right. Level up time. Level up. Level 11. To level 12. I was gonna say, you just got to level 11? Wait, what? Yeah, wait. Oh, it was showing me as level 11. That's why I got confused. We're max level! Woo! Yay! We did it, everyone! And all I get is a feat. Huh. Feet. Huh. Feet. Huh. Feet. Hmm. 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 There's eye bite, there's chain lightning. God, chain lightning would be kind of fun. Wall of ice. <laughs> Dedication. Chain lightning is also good. Do I actually, do I have a scroll, spell scroll of chain lightning? I thought I had some of these six level spells in spell scrolls. Let me check. Hmm. Oh, I have, I have Globe of Invulnerability, at least, so I don't have to worry about that. Hmm. Skilled, I gain proficiency in three skills of my choice. Sharpshooter. Okay. I have Wall of Ice, Wall of Stone. Telekinesis, Irresistible Dance, because I can be a little silly billy. Um, oh, I do have a scroll of eye bite, so I should probably just. Hmm. Do I not have chain lightning? That's probably okay then, because I know what to get. Chain lightning, my beloved. It's a pretty dope spell. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Hmm. Sunbeam is also pretty dope. Okay, so I already have Eye Bite and I have Wall of Ice. So I could just end up getting... Chain Lightning and... Hmm. Was there another one I wanted? I thought it was an Irresistible Dance too, so I don't even need to do that. I need to cast that spell at some point this playthrough just so I can see people dance. <laughs> Because that would be very silly, and I think I would enjoy that very much. So you've got Globe and Runnerability, I've got Eye Bite, we're going to do Chain Lightning. Arcane Gate is interesting, I guess. Dance. Um, ah, geez Louise. Flesh to Stone could be kind of cool, I guess. Would it be really funny if I took Great Weapon Master now that I crit on 16s? 
Uh, I believe it only applies to two-handed weapons. Even just the first part, when you land a critical hit or kill a target with a melee weapon attack, you can make another melee weapon attack as a bonus action? In D&D, that's how that works. It's only two-handed mm -hmm. weapons. Hence the great weapon. Um, I'm not sure if that's the same in Baldur's Gate, though. They might have changed it. Mm. The wording would imply that it's not, but the, like the, the, the plus 10 damage at the cost of your attack roll is. That's worded specifically about um, both-handed weapons, but... <laughs> Finally confront the Emperor and make him dance until he dies. That's exactly the idea. <laughs> I'm like, I'm here to make you do a stupid little dance. He's like, I'd like to see you true. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I could, oh, no. Useful, or I could say something really funny instead. What's, what's that? Well, Lily's been practicing her flute. Oh my god. <laughs> so <sighs> she gets the performer flute. <laughs> it's up to you. I'm probably gonna go with something pretty useful myself, but it is up to you. I could go, um, there's like Mage Slayer, it looks pretty okay. Mm -hmm. But that would require me to be in melee range of a of a spellcaster. Athlete could also be pretty good. Alert also might be nice. Dual wielder though would just give me a plus one bonus to AC. But I'm not gonna switch out my weapons, so I don't get I don't get any value from like half of it. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. No. I can learn all those other spells. I might think Sharpshooter, actually. Uh, Sharpshooter's not bi bad for your range stuff. Yeah. Well, now that, especially now I've got two hand crossbows. That's true. As well, I can make two ranged attacks per turn. That's true. Oh, you can always reset with withers. Oh. That's true, yeah. yeah like what, uh, it, what Sal's saying there? Yeah, true. I'm, uh, I'm, a. Uh thinking too hard about it. Perhaps, perhaps. Six sharpshooter. See if it works. No. Swag. Swagger. I'm gonna do... You guys already know what I'm gonna do because I'm a mid-maxer. <laughs> We're gonna do resilient into con to get me that extra point of HP, as well as proficiency in con saves, so my concentration checks have a better chance. Mm -mm. That should bring it up to, like, what, a plus... plus eight? Which means if I... most attacks, I will always keep concentration unless I roll, like, a one. I believe. Hmm. So... That's what I'm gonna do. Prepared spells. Just a stone, sunbeam. That magic. Chain lightning, baby. I am finally at level 12, giving, giving Shadowheart Warcaster. Hell yeah. Do I? Hmm. Does planar binding? Let's try that. Nasty gamer. She can be a little silly as a treat. Lily can be a little silly as a treat. Oh, Rose, thank you so much for 34 months. Did you know that 30 plus 4 equals 34, which is how many months you've been scrapping? That's kind of pluggers. Orbital Rose. Now, I could just give Carlac -like more health, or I could give her Great Weapon Master. True. I'm just saying Great Weapon Master would be really cool. Hmm. She would do so much damage. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Just for the funsies. Make Carlic more of a machine. Let's go. 
Plus, Great Weapon Master is really good for barbarians anyway, because they can attack with advantage. Yeah. Pwoggers? You're so pwoggers, Rose. <clears throat> okay, I can't... What's the one... Is it... Is it... It's not planar binding. It's like summon planar ally? What? Yes, yeah. I think I have that scroll somewhere. I have planar ally. You just have the Punch scroll? Chart. No, I just have the spell. Oh. Sharp nose playing around. Oh, is it? It might not be a wizard spell. That may, maybe that's why I can't find it. Yeah. That would make a lot of sense. It's a level six conjuration spell. Which I think, yeah, I just got it for yeah. She just got it for being cleric, so I assume it's a cleric spell. Must be. Must be. That's okay. That's okay. Why does Lily know summon planar ally? Oh, she meant shart. <laughs> <laughs> Lily's just like, let me call my angel friend. <laughs> Dame Aelin shows up. <laughs> yeah, literally. She's like, you Lily's are in trouble, Lily. yes? <laughs> Lily, just not a magical bone in her body, just suddenly casts a level six cleric spell. <laughs> And she's just like, oh, I just woke up one day and I could do this. Mm -hmm. I just have that power. Yeah. I just sort of, you know, I just didn't tell anyone because I didn't think it was that impressive. Oh, I'm I sure you can do it. I have a spell of flesh to stone. God damn it. It's like, you know, it's like, Chu, you know so many spells. I'm sure you can do this with ease. I actually can't. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not oh. allowed, I think, I guess. <laughs> like, that's the real talk. How does a wizard explain not being able to cast something like that? I guess just the magic itself comes from a different place. I suppose. It's like not, it's like not weave stuff, it's god stuff. Because then it's I don't like, know if those two things Chu, can you open up a portal to another world? Oh yeah, totally. So why can't you like summon someone from another world? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Can you... Can you be a cleric of, of Mistra? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's but absolutely clerics of Mistra. So surely if you get if you get divine power from your faith in Mistra, surely that's just you using the weave. That's you doing arcane stuff, right? Because she's just she is just arcane stuff. Well arcane clerics know. are a thing too. Yeah. Yeah, Lenore of the Abandoned Tower was a cleric of Mistra. Yeah, that's right, she was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. It's because Ao said no. Well, you know, I think they should just get better world building then. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't actually make any sense. Mm -hmm. Let flowers say what words never can. Yeah. Oh, I have another 5th level spell slot. Nice. Woo! Did, did I get another 5th level spell slot? No. No, you didn't. I have I have only one level 6 spell slot, and that's kind of sad. Wow. All right. Let me make a new save. Make a new save. Because you have to go play the, the, the funny pen and paper version of this game. True. It's the less fun version. Um, <laughs> yeah, we did not find Lazel, but I think we're no closer. Lazy. We will find Lazy. We, we will must find... find Lazy. We must find Lazy. Lazy. 
Why is it here? All else fails, we can just go. If all else fails, we can just go back into the fucking tunnel, I guess. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth, yeah, lazy. Yeah. Lazy. Emperor. Emperor. You can't escape me. I'll chase you like to the ends of your I brain. To, I need someone to like redraw the that scene from the cartoon, but with Karlak chasing Gortash. Real. Yeah. Gortash! Gortash! And like Steel Watchers being in like in Karlak's way and her just like barreling through them. Yeah, she just fucking <laughs> bashes them away. That is the downside when uh you go on when you send your uh this person to the hells and then an arc devil goes, you know what? I like you. Have all these superpowers. Cause then she gets out and has all these superpowers. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. Cause that is generally speaking quite dangerous. So Shaka. Yippee Kay. You can't escape me. You can't escape me. You can't escape me. <laughs> um anyway, we have to be done now. We're ending a bit early. I apologize, uh, mostly because Sammy has other responsibilities that she must attend to. I will be back tomorrow, though. If you guys want to say hi in the evening, we're doing Persoba. We just got to, like, the cool part of Persona 4. The part everyone remembers, not the 80 hours of schluck that we got, that we had to get to to get <laughs> through here. Um, we're going to go raid Casey, though. Love me a Casey. She's Thank cool. Me. And I think playing Shogunners, which is a tactics game, but she's always playing a tactics game. Um, anyway, uh, Ashley will be around too. You got stuff you probably do this. No. No. Never mind. No. Ashley doesn't. No, I'm, I've um, got things to see and people to do. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyway, um, you guys all have a I'll good be... day. I hope you all have a good one. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, raid. There we go. Raid. Ooga booga. Give it a Casey and Ooga booga. Those are the socials. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 Central. It's a late stream. But y'all have a good one. You too, Ashley. Goodbye! Goodbye. I loved Nomad going, Ayo? Ayo? Yeah.